Yeah. All right, cool. I'm good. Me too. So, welcome yes. to the podcast. Hello. It is a. Uh, it's an experiment for sure. I'm. I've been so excited to do one for I don't know, God knows how long. Long uh, time. One, we have. <laughs> one day I was just. I just got sick and tired of talking about it, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just get done talking about it. Let's just fucking do it. And that's uh, that. Yeah, that's what I did with YouTube. I I had been talking uh, with with my mom about it, and um, you know, she and I were talking, and I mentioned um, what I wanted to do. You know, I'm currently in college, but I feel like everything I'm doing is being dictated by society. And I mentioned it, and she goes, "Well, why don't you just do it?" And I went. You know, that's a really good, that's a really good point. Why don't I just do it? And that's when I, um, I'm texted you and said, hey, how did you do those two videos you did? And, uh, you responded, here's how I did it. And, uh, then I started YouTube back in July, I want to say it was. Sounds about right to me. That's where I'd put it. But, yeah. What's the, what's the six month? Is that June? That would... Yeah, it's June. Okay, I started in June then, June 29th. It's on my calendar somewhere. Yeah, basically July. <laughs> it, June so, 29th, so pretty much July. Yeah, I I have a I have a happy July 4th episode of Fallout. So yeah. That's cool. three months ago. Yeah, three months ago that that was. So hi, um, I'm gaming soloist. Welcome Probably to going to commonly hear me being referred to as Grant, though, but for those uh, unfamiliar with me, I am Gaming Soloist on YouTube. Um, I'm sure my friend here will have... Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself. We'll have a couple of links down in the description down below for my YouTube, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook. That indeed I will. Welcome, Mr. Grant. You and your Hi. gaming YouTube knowledge, you get to yes. You get to see what it's like to start out as a YouTuber. And I'm gonna be here to track your progress via podcast, so that'll be pretty cool. And hopefully, uh, if I have my wicked way, this will all converge into one empire. Hopefully, that'd be nice. Hopefully, but. I do. I'm. T I would love to make this part of the. I keep telling you when i when you fucking move out here i want to make this sub thing i want to make this the podcast part of the band i guess i'll be gaming soloist this will be the gaming podcast or whatever and it, it'll be the band uh fucking these names are all pending of course because i'm coming up with them on the spot this will be like the band empire the music empire i don't know what the fuck to call it <laughs> well we don't gotta come up with the name yet but it'll certainly be called something Oh, something nice. so. yes i'm i'm certainly certainly looking forward to doing anything yes uh, i Spe like this speaking speaking of you who are you introduce yourself tell us about it about you who are you well if you're on my channel assuming you are because that's where this is going to be and it's going to lay on youtube mostly and eventually i'm going to work my way into itunes and hopefully soundcloud um, android Google Play. Android. Um, Google but, Play. That's where I get my music. Podcasts. But I, I'm Caleb Stevens. That's just me right now. That's the name you get. Uh, nothing special. Okay, um, I've come close to calling you Atomic Tuesday a couple of times. I mean, I, I'll certainly go by Atomic Tuesday. That, that's, that's where you'll find me on Xbox. Um, but yeah, that's just... You wouldn't... You will not simple find humble me on guy Xbox. ready for a ready for a podcast. Yeah, They'll hit me up on uh, Craigslist. <laughs> you can hire my services for three payments of forty nine ninety nine. I don't 49. think you can actually. I mean, four thousand nine hundred ninety nine grains of sand. That's the only currency <laughs> I accept. Well, I, you don't accept bottle caps. No, bottle caps are Dude, so it's... so. Dude. So so out of date. If if you've been fucking following me, uh, should should I not cuss on this? I don't care. Especially if it's going on YouTube. Go well, YouTube's it. being 
we'll, we'll, we'll go into this a little bit, but YouTube's being picky with censorship lately. It's it's bullshit, and I'll talk about it in a little bit. But if you've been following me on uh, YouTube, fucking uh, bottle caps are all the rage. All They are the biggest currency in the Commonwealth, and wherever the fuck my area of Fallout is called, I know you know it, I just do not remember. The Commonwealth. Well, that's the Fallout 4 area. I don't know what the place I live in. It was in Fallout New Vegas, so I now very clearly live in Las Vegas. I don't remember what they called it. Called, called Do you... what? New Vegas? Or yeah. the town was surrounding it just... New Vegas? That, a- that area. Like, but it was uh, in Fallout 4, uh, the Commonwealth Fallout 3 was the Capital Wasteland. So just that map area. What was that called? I don't know. I I just think it was just the wastes. I mean, I could be wrong, but I or New Vegas or just the wastes cuz Mr. New Vegas only referred to it out there as the wastes. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not sure what it was called. Was it just the waste? It might have been just the waste. It may have been New Vegas. That just Yeah, just the, the well, New Vegas was one location. So, I'm not sure, because cause New Vegas was a specific town in it, and I don't, I don't know if it has an official name. Um, yeah, so, I can, I can look into it, but I can do a quick Google. I'll do that. Alright, um, so I won't mention that I'm already currently doing the Google, we'll just pretend <laughs> like that's never happening. I can't, well, I can't, I'm, give us an answer. I'm already at the wiki. I, I can't <laughs> find it. I cannot find yeah, it. I think it's just the wasteland. They don't. They yeah, don't specifically I, call it anything other than New Vegas. Yeah. Well, probably because it that wasn't a Bethesda game, was it? It was. That uh, was, it was an Obsidian. It was like a sister company kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was Obsidian. So, although. Uh, so I I have a Fallout game. I've got New Vegas. The uh, next Fallout game, though, I think is called Project New Orleans. So that that was a rumor um, for some game that they were supposedly talking about. It was a project. I think it was called Project Louisiana. Was the like the uh, project? Yeah, it was. And all yeah, they it was had Project was Louisiana and Pop. It's like a screen grab, and there's no telling if it's a Fallout game or what it's referencing. But there's something out there, possibly yeah. by the by well, the code name Project Louisiana. Yeah, it was dropped by the people who dropped uh, Red Dead Two, though, wasn't it? No, I think it was. I think it was by Obsidian. I believe that's why people thought it'd be another New Vegas type game. Yeah, but I can. This I can see all, where that connection would be made. All very heavily speculated. It's not like any solid yeah. evidence there. Okay, so do we still not know what's going on there? No, I, I haven't looked further into it since then. I they just saw the Project yeah. Louisiana like green flag thing. Yeah, I've picked up I picked up uh, bits and pieces. I listened yeah, to but... um, a good bit of gaming news, so I don't. Yeah, I, I, don't, I haven't cause... heard much more of it. Yeah. So, but that's that's that. So we know who I am. We know who you are. We know where you'll be able to find me. If you're listening to this podcast, you've already found him. So I think I think we've covered those bases. Talked a, it, talked a little bit about what I do. Um, if you can't pick it up by now, I've said we're doing a Fallout 4 Let's Play. I do Let's Plays on YouTube. So, but what do, what is it you do? As of right now, podcasting and uh, living life. Um. Uh, as for right now, I'm just going to focus on doing this, having a good, uh, just a, uh-huh. a reliable piece of media. Okay. And uh, I, I'm not too fast paced. I just like a good conversation. I hope to have a lot of guests on, have different people often. Um, I've been talking to a couple people around here who live in, in the town. I got a couple friends who might be jumping in on it here soon. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Like uh, in this mainly... episode or in other episodes? Oh, future episodes, not right now. It's too late for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what time it is where you live. You and I have very different times. It's like eight o'clock here. 
That's, it's almost 10 here. Yeah. We... <laughs> so, it's... But, anyways, before we started this, we were talking about uh, the YouTube algorithm situation. That's and so that's bullshit. A very, that's a very commonly brought up topic nowadays. It's it's but, so it's so bullshit. I mean it's it's a it's a shitty situation. But well, it's it's, it's shit th- it's shitty for anyone studying, especially. Yeah, but it's something, regardless of how shitty it is, you have to work around it if you want to make it. You yeah. have to put up with it. You have to find a way to to get through it. You've got to yeah, love what cause... you're doing enough to deal with the shit. You know. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons I'm always like dropping links anywhere I go. To my yeah. channel because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you search, even if you search for a specific channel, we'll take my channel for example. Nobody else is capital G gaming, capital S soloist, all like in a one word format. And if you search for that and you set your filter to um, channels, you can't, you, you won't be able to find it because the YouTube algorithm. What it does is it goes, here are the popular people, not here's what you're looking for, here are the popular people. So I'll have trouble, I'm, I'm very lucky, I know specific names of my episodes, if I put in a specific name of my episode, then um, you'll be able to find that episode, but directly underneath that though... Um, you'll see some other dude who's done Fallout who's a lot more popular. And so it's just like YouTube, let the small people, you know, let people look for these people. Stop shoving the popular stuff down our throat. We're not hipsters. I'm not a hipster. I can't speak for you. We're not hipsters. I walk the line. <laughs> you you do. You do walk the line. So I wear tight pants. Sometimes. Let us. Do you? I. I don't wear tight pants, but I don't wear like baggies. I last wear time you saw me, tight pants occasionally. yeah, yeah. Well, last time you saw me, I wore um, a lot of like Wrangler and Levi, and now I also wear like Wrangler and Levi, but I don't get like the really baggy shit I used to wear. But anyways, yeah. it YouTube's like here's the popular stuff. Keep following this popular stuff. We're not going to give anybody else room to grow, and so I'm going place to place to place, going like, hey here's me, here's my stuff, check this out, and people are going, eh, well, it's not that popular, so clearly it can't be good. And I'm like, no, it's decent stuff, just give it a chance. I it's think like, what right was, now, you... the algorithm is in a very short, or it's in a very new stage. It's just, like, it's simple in the fact that it finds what people are watching and what people want to watch, and it promotes that. It, yeah, but... It also, it's not that they're going out particularly picking and shitting on the smaller channels. They're just promoting what people are watching. Yeah. And then and they you need just to gotta s- find ways to game that. You know, you gotta yeah. find attractive thumbnails. You gotta, you gotta promote the shit out of yourself. You gotta, yeah. you gotta jump in on other people's shit. Well, I mean, maybe not like, not like riding the coattails of somebody, but like, hey, you know, here, here's what I'm doing. If you yeah, like this, need- you might like me. They need to stop talking about how advanced their damn AI is then. I'll I'll go into one of my videos and click like autoplay and it won't even bring up the next video. It'll bring up someone else's video and it's like, I'm watching episode 20, let me watch episode 21 in autoplay. Not this other dude who does Fallout. You may also, and, that could be part of setting it up in a playlist kind of situation. No, I ha- it would I have promote playlists. your videos playing in order. In if, order. If, if you've been to my channel, you would know I have playlists. I just watch videos straight by the link. But uh, and then I'll keep dropping links. <laughs> but, exactly, drop but, your links in yeah. every inbox. Just I, my thing with promote it till you're annoyed with it. Promote it till do everybody you, else is annoyed. Yeah. At it. Do you remember that Goofy move? Do you remember the Goofy movie? Oh yes, absolutely. Okay, remember the standout song? Yes. That is like my theme song. Like one of the lyrics is <laughs> half a second, half a chance. I'll sh- I'll show I've got whatever it takes. Yeah. Just just give me that shit. 
Well, you that was work for it. nobody's gonna yeah. give you the chance. You gotta steal it. You gotta take it. You gotta make your chance. <laughs> let me you blow them let out me just let me just go over to Markiplier and just constantly drop my link for all the people who go <laughs> into the comments. Well, see, then you're one of those people in the comments that nobody likes. But, yeah, you know. exactly. But at the same Except, time, you know, somebody's gonna click that link and somebody's gonna like that video. Yeah. Somebody's gonna like what you're want, what you're gonna want, or what you're putting yeah. out. It, it's that fine line between um, push, not pushing, but it's that fine line between going, hey, here, advertising. It's that fine line between advertising and cramming it down someone's throat. Yeah. Well, you just got to learn that line and then walk it. You got to walk that line. Yeah. You got to get to the just point like where stay it is to almost one side. shoving it down someone's throat. Yeah. You can't you just stay to... one side of that line. You need to be yeah. on that line where some people will go and other people will go, no, I can, I can. This is still okay. Yeah. If if you show it to 100 people and 99 don't like it, one of them does, and that's one more person. Yeah. So, one more to add if to If you my show 1,000 people, then that's 10 people. You know? And yeah. maybe those well, 8 subscribers, they'll go they'll go tell their friends that adds, what, 4 subscribers, 5 subscribers, and then yeah. it's just going to grow. Well, that's it's that's not why gonna I'm grow split overnight, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I've been doing this for several months. <laughs> but uh but that's why uh in Splatoon 2 um one of the things you can do is make a post. My post, if you ever see like my Splatoon character is a Twitter link. You can't click it, but if you type that in the uh in your search bar, that takes you to my Twitter account. Once you go to my Twitter account, every time a video comes out, uh Twitter automatically goes uh, tweets for me that a video's out and you just click that link, go to the video. Problem is, kids play Splatoon 2, though. <laughs> Dude, well, there is so much furry talk on Splatoon 2. I could it's imagine. so funny that people have had to go, just remember, kids play this. We don't want, you know, a kid to lose their game because you put, like, furry stuff on Splatoon 2 and the parents saw it and thinks it's not appropriate for them. Yeah. But Shout that's out one to of those, those people. Gotta... Yeah, well, I mean... Not to those parents who take the games away from their kids because no. somebody being stupid. No, shout out to the people going, hey, we're not going to police you, but just keep this shit in mind. Be aware of this. Yeah. Shout out to those people. If you're one of those people, shout out to you. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, anybody can enjoy the game, in my opinion, and you have the right yeah. to say what you want. So if you enjoy the game and you happen to say really inappropriate shit, that's your right, I guess. Yeah. I'm that not going to do it, but I can't knock you for doing it. Yeah, that game's great. They added a shotgun today. They added a shotgun in the shape of an umbrella, and it's wonderful. I'm I mean, not, it's, it's I'm not, not interested that, until there's chips, dick-shaped umbrellas. Or dick-shaped you know, shotguns. No, no, there's no dick. Where did the dick come from? Where did the fact you that create? there is none is disappointing. Oh. Well, the game's rated E10+. You can't put a penis in there. Totally can. You can hide it. Probably, yeah. You can totally hide well, it. Well, um, it. have you seen how many Disney movies there are dicks hidden? <laughs> I was, I was literally how about to bring up the Little Mermaid. Some shit has been in. I was absolutely. Like, yeah. <laughs> do, do you remember uh, Teen Titans? Yes. Yeah. Vaguely. Do you? They had an episode, the Good Teen Titans, by the way, when Teen Titans was about something and not Teen Titans Go. They had an episode where a bad guy I got made to puppets. Say about that here in a minute. Yeah, hold continue. On. I yeah, I have there was an episode where a villain made puppets of them and Robin's holding his puppet going, "Man, these proportions are are perfect." And Beast Boy pulls on the crotch region of his puppet and goes, "Speak for yourself." <laughs> that game I, I love that, those that little inappropriate sh- jokes that just you He's know, he's you just don't like get my dick first, is too small. And you watch them later. <laughs> yeah, you watch him when you're an adult, and then you'll realize, like, when Beast Boy was told his genetic structure was falling apart, and he's going, "But is Raven okay?" That that <laughs> show used to that show used to be about something. I was I was yeah. looking at some stuff to earlier today, which is why it's on the brain. And that that mm. show used to be so. They had one of the things they talked about was strong female characters without cramming it down your throat. You know, talking about, like, Starfire and Raven's powers and how they work and how it's reflected in their character and just 
shit like that. That shit was so cool. Yeah. That shit was. See, my thing with, uh, with Teen Titans is I I liked the original, I but I also don't hate Teen Titans Go. I mean I don't watch it very often at all, but I don't have any issue with it. It's a different adaptation in the story to fit an audience that they want to to put it out to you. They they found the audience that watches it and they're catering to it. There yeah. there have been plenty yeah. of moments in Teen Titan Go Teen Titans Go that I've seen that was like, okay, well, it may not be as deep and as story driven as the original but it has its moments for sure there are definitely, definitely times where i was impressed by the show i from what i've seen of it in t- 10 years from now that show is going to be so ridiculously dated because Absolutely. all of the humor all the yeah all that stuff it's just gonna be like this was funny only then it's not funny now it was funny only then so I'm, For what it but is, there, that's the point. Though. Although there will be one episode that will always be funny. It's the episode where one of the villains showed up and he showed them the old Teen Titans. And they were just like, why would you cancel that show? That show's amazing. <laughs> and it's just like Cartoon Network acknowledging that the original Teen Titans was better. And that's just yeah. really funny to me. I mean... Uh... They're not try. They're not claiming to be the better Teen Titans, I and for a TV show for what it is, I it certainly has its enjoyable qualities. So I, I have no beef with it. It doesn't ruin my childhood for there to be an adaptation of a story I like, except for the Avatar Last Airbender movie. That fucked shit up. I that was you know, awful. I think if, I think if the ending was good, no one would have a problem with it. I think if they had a decent ending. No one would have a problem with it. I've seen that movie. I think if it had a good ending, no one would have a problem with it. Uh, I want to clarify, because I think you just said Avatar. We're talking about The Last Airbender, not James Cameron's movie. Absolutely The Last Airbender. Yeah. James Cameron's movie, fantastic. He's making, like, he has the script written for, like, seven more of those. Yeah, something like that. Some ridiculous pre-planned amount. Yeah, well, Michael Bay has the next fifteen Transformers planned out. So I, I'm, I was, I was under the impression that this was the end of it. I think you know, I, I think Michael Bay is done. He's I think gonna he's going to be torch. broke when he stops. I think he's going to pass the torch to someone else and make it someone else's problem. I, I hope and he does. And they're going to make a shit ton of money off of it. I, I, I hope he does pass the torch. Not to say his are bad. I just they never resonated with me. I've enjoyed every one I've watched so far, honestly. Yeah. They haven't bothered well, me. I haven't I haven't not enjoyed it, but at the same time it just they're whatever. See it, don't see it, I don't particularly care. I'm not going to go out of my way to see it, but one thing I was going to go out of my way to see was Fairy Tale Dragon Cry, but I can't do that. I can't do that at all and it makes me sad. Why can't you do that? Explain to me what that is. Uh, cause Fairy Tale Dragon Cry. Yes. Uh, do you know Do you know the this. anime Fairy Tale? Are you familiar? I okay. I think I've watched an episode of it. Yeah. Fun fact: That's actually an etchy. An- one of the um categories for that anime is etchy, and that's really funny because usually that shit would get like shut down. But it's one of the most popular animes. It's my favorite mainstream anime. Um, but it's th- the manga's ended. Uh, I don't think I don't think the anime's quite ended because the manga just ended a little bit ago. Sp- manga spoilers, real quick. Um, Hold you on. know wait, it ends. Wait, 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 wait. Give it a few seconds. You can't just say spoiler alert and then dive into the spoilers. You got to give somebody a buffer to, to to mute it or something. Fair enough. All have right. we given that Have we given that buffer now? Should I be quiet just a little bit more so they can mute it? Oh, we're good. Spoilers ahead. Just okay. Do it. All right, there was, yeah, I, I made sure not to say anything, give that little bit of buffer. Uh, it ends, no one gets together, Jersey ship doesn't happen, Nalu ship doesn't happen, Natsa ship doesn't happen. I think I think the only ship that comes close to happening is Gruvia, and that's if you read into it. So, 
it, it's just all about friendship. I have my own ships. I know other people have their own ships. None of it happens. None of it's canon. Uh, it's all just about friendship and happiness. But that that's ended. And so now that that's ended, the anime is going to follow suit, which is when everyone's going to have their hearts crushed. Because Nalu and Jerza weren't supposed to be canon in the first place. From my understanding, I know a lot of people are, might get upset about this because they're the quote-unquote canon ships and everyone loves them. Um, th those only started to come to fruition because of fan pressure. And uh, Hiro Mishima, I think, is the guy who makes it. I'm going to get skewed if I'm wrong there. Uh, he wasn't going to put anyone together, but then his, publish his publishers go, I think the fans would like this, I think the fans would like that. So, but he, he still ends it. Every, it's all about friendship and family. Uh, so that's that's done. And the manga is going to follow. Uh, the anime is going to follow suit finishing up. I think the the movie comes right after that. Um, now that I, I think it's called Dragon Cry. Because it finishes off what's going on with the dragons. Of course, Natsu knows. Uh, all the dragon slayers know what happened to the dragons. Natsu's oh, father, yeah. Igneel, is dead that he's been looking for for so long. And so one so... thing, um, I, I don't know anything what you're talking about. Yeah. Do, should I explain so, fairy tale? Explain, explain it to me as somebody who's never seen it. Okay. Because uh, I, I don't know how big of a, an anime audience I have, but I know I don't understand. So, yeah. so enlighten me. Well, that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, fairy tale old anime, I think it originally came out in the early 2000s, and then they redid it in 2014, I want to say. Uh, it's it's an old anime, it's a long anime, it's like bleach long. Not not One Piece long. Uh, One Piece is, One Piece, the, that anime is never going to end. Bleach is like 600 episodes. Um, actually, I think, I think Fairy Tale is more like Naruto long. It's a couple hundred, but I don't think it's like 600 and um yeah. it's it's about uh fairy tale comes from the name of the guild fairy tale of the main character not so a lot of people think uh lucy's the main character she's not uh of course then everyone goes will name one mission she's never been on because of she's in the cast of main characters but she's not the main character that falls to not so uh so for that one mission she never goes on uh that's eat last i'll get to that in a minute uh, but it's about wizards, people who can use magic, and so Natsu is a dra he uses fire dragon slayer magic, because dragons exist used to exist a long time ago, uh, four hundred years ago was the last dragons were, when the last dragons were seen, so that's when the dragon slayers were uh, trained to use dragon slaying magic, and then they were hidden away in a different dimension for four hundred years before they got brought into the real world, which is why the vast majority of them, take Natsu for example, the ones who haven't had Lacrima, which are some weird magic technology, I'm not sure exactly how they work, put into them to give them Dragon Slayer magic. The ways of the new world, they just can't keep up with, but they were also raised basically by, by animals. And so they're, they're mages, they all use magic, uh, the main cast consists of Team Natsu. Essentially, consists of Natsu, who uses fire, dra fire dragon slaying magic. Lucy, who uses celestial magic, which means she has these l little keys, which um, she uses to summon celestial spirits. Gray, who uses ice magic, regular ice magic. Erza, who uses requip magic. So what she did, she does is she changes her swords and armor really fast, basically. And uh, later on, Wendy, who is a sky dragon slayer, happy not to succeed, which is a cat that can walk upright and fly, and Carla, Lucy succeed, which every every natural dragon slayer has an exceed. I think that's just coincidence. I don't remember if it is or not. Because there's, there's a total of five natural dragon slayers, I want to say. Because I, I can't remember if Cobra is one. There's Natsu, who's fire. Lucy, who's wind. Gajil, who is uh, metal or iron. 
There is Rogue, who is Shadow, and then I'm blanking on his name, but he uses uh, Light. I should know his name. Oh my god, this is embarrassing, because I should absolutely right, know his well, name. Sting, that, that's Sting where, is his name. That's Sting where I'm going to stop name. you. <laughs> so, yeah, because I, I should have given you a fair warning. I'm going to go into this. So, um, just, just to wrap yeah. this up. Well, um, we got to leave something out. for somebody to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just explaining the characters. I'm not going to go into the plot. I'm not going to go into you're, the plot. That's so, a little, a little too, more explanation those, than we have yeah. time for, man. Yeah. All right. All right. So, just, just to wrap this up, uh, the Dragon Cry movie, I think, is the last movie. And it's just a little bit extra, either right before the end or right after the end of the manga. So, but I couldn't go see it because I'm broke as shit. So that's where this started. The fact that you were sad for not being able to go see the movie and here we are. In depth yeah. on what fairy tale is. You, <laughs> you should have known. You know me. I, you should have known I, that was going to happen. You should have let me know I was opening a can of worms that would never end. <laughs> you should have known. We've known each other for what four years now. I didn't know you had some fairy tale fetish. Good God. <laughs> well, you see, the thing you're is, you're on the other side of the fandom. What do you mean, the other side? You're on the <laughs> the non fetishy side of the fandom. I don't know if I'd call it a fetish. I mean, people it's, definitely it's... take it to a fetish level. Well, I Absolutely. listen. Rule thirty four exists. Well, do you not? Do you know the thirty fourth rule of the internet? If it yeah. exists, there is There's porn of porn. it. So yeah, someone, absolutely. someone gets off to it. Uh, there are people out there. I've known people who do. I've known people who don't. Uh, but I, I love the shit out of the anime. Yeah. That and Angel Beats are my favorite anime. I'm not going to go into that one because it's like 12 episodes because the studio flooded ha had a quick ending. A little bit of a rushed ending at the end. The studio flooded though. So that's a good ass yeah. anime. If you haven't seen it, go find it. I think the only input I have anime wise and I I may get lynched but um, Dragon Ball Z is, is my shit. Uh, yeah, Death Note good anime. though is probably my favorite. That's, that's 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 a really one. good one. No, it, you I will. Just, it invested you, in it invested you, its soul into me. Yeah, I loved it. you you won't get lynched for that. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is fantastic. Watch the original one. Watch the more updated one. That's fantastic. That's like a seven part anime though, because that one works weird. Hmm. So, that's another fantastic one. Um. Death Note's uh, gonna have a live a live action movie. It's I'm got, excited for it. It looks yeah, it's got good. some pretty good casting. I would be worried in case it does like what JoJo did, where unless you know anything about it, don't go see it. Cause JoJo mm. JoJo skipped skipped parts one through three to make a movie. They went straight into part four. And basically, if you didn't know well, a damn thing like, about uh, JoJo or the plot, don't watch it. It's like if you've read the manga Full Metal Alchemist, uh, just the regular Full Metal Alchemist is totally off, but Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood well, is like pretty on the spot. That's is that's the manga versus anime line, not a unless you have any understanding of this manga slash anime as a whole, you won't know what the fuck's going on because they don't explain what a stand is, they don't explain the plot. They explain, they say shit that very clearly does, spoilers, at one point, uh, Jotaro goes, you can't bring someone back from the dead even with the stand, even though in part 3, he brought his grandfather back from the dead, he was drained completely of blood and you saw his soul leave his body, and Jotaro brought him back from the dead. So some of that shit just doesn't make any sense if you watch it, and... That's what I'm afraid um, Death Note is going to do. Yeah, the animes and, and mangas tend to make a lot more sense if you know what they are. Yeah. Well, I don't watch a lot of them. I again, live action, TV, live action movie. But 
I do you still I watch TV? I the only thing I I ever watch on TV anymore is Jeopardy. I like learning about trivia. Everything else is I'm watching something on YouTube. It just for me like paying for TV that I'd watch one or two channels and it just wouldn't be worth paying for. Yeah, the only Shit TV gets so I think expensive and out of hand it's not even funny. Yeah, I would pay for like Netflix, but the problem is if you want good internet, you have to get TV. You can't have one or the other. It's a package with both. I don't know. I know AT and T. You can get just an internet package. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. And I think if I with go to what... Seattle, that that's what I'm gonna get. AT and T yeah. fiber. Well, I I think with what uh, I have, our internet and uh, TV is one thing. So we have like 600 channels. Because we have really good internet. We get HBO. That's, speaking of HBO, I've never watched Game of Thrones. Have you ever watched Game of Thrones? No, I, I've watched the first episode, but I, I'm, I'm in that very small percentage of the world that just, they missed it, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've never I've never seen an episode of it. I tried to read the books, but it kept switching the point of view so much that I was just like I'm setting this down. You know, I can't I can't read this. It's the same problem I had with like the Percy Jackson series. I love Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Heroes of Olympus. I cannot read it because it keeps switching the point of view give me one character let yeah, me follow they, that character if i read a book i want i want to have one perspective the whole book that's what i like and th this is where we're gonna get a little personal because yeah. uh i personally really enjoy reading like like awkward teen romance stuff dude so like any John i got a Green series book, for you any John Green book is just my favorite. Oh, um, I can't. So having a I, one point of view like that, that is so drastically different than my point of view and like in life, it just, I like that shit. Yeah. Speaking of weird teen romances, I've never read anything about John Green, but um, there's a series. Very this is going to get weird. <laughs> yeah. He's a weird dude. He's a weird dude. And it's awesome. We used to watch his history stuff in um, my history teacher's class. And uh, you remember... Um, yeah, I don't the, uh, want to give any... Yeah, well, and, and, and I don't want to I don't want to give any names of people we know just to put them on blast. But you remember the really big trombone player, the really loud, boisterous, tall guy from uh, high school? Yeah, Devin. I just gave names to that thing I said I wasn't going to do. He, I he mean, and I, I, I don't, I'm not too worried about it. All right, fair enough. He and I, uh, he was in a senior history class. Uh, so we were in the same history class my senior year. He and I figured out that it was the same John Green who wrote The Fault in Our Stars. And we were just like, holy shit. But uh, the series I have for you, it's called the Iron Face series. It's by Julia. Yeah, it's the same guy. Kawaga, I think it is. I don't, I don't know if that's how you say her name, but it's really good. What was that? Yeah, K I. It's the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. So, K A G A W A. I've I've read them all. You know, I I like a. I am I am a closet romantic at heart. I really am. And I've read all of them. They're about a girl who discovers she's half fairy. And so she falls in love with, like, the son of Queen Mab. Uh, that's Shakespearean kind of fairy stuff. Her best friend turns out to be Puck. And it's she and uh, oh, yeah. the son of Queen Mab. And I'm, I'm well, about I to spoil things. That. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very good. <laughs> There's six books, maybe? It does a small... I I don't think it does any point of view changes. If it does, it's very, very minimal. I can't remember doing that. It'll have like a different point of view in this book or that book near the end due to certain events that happen. 
Because one, one book is about this dude trying to do... The son of Queen Mab trying to do this thing. Um, I, again, I don't want to spoil it, but you'll understand when you read it. It, it has a small bit of pov change near yeah. the end, pov point of view change near the end, but it's totally bearable. Absolutely bearable. It's nothing okay. major. As long as it's not like some weird, jumpy, hard to follow crap, then that's fine. No, I don't no, mind no, no, if no, it's no. plot. Like, if it's for the plot, that's fine. But if it's just weird, then it's cool. No, it's it's nothing like that. It's it's nothing like Game of Thrones. It's so easy. <laughs> So, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's, I've, I've been rereading the fault in our stars again recently. And, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's my favorite book, but I certainly enjoy it. I read, uh, I read the motion for the first time recently. That book is amazing. I, I really want to read the motion. That's the next one on my list. It's, it's really funny. It has some really funny points. It has, it, cause I, it's got, he, the guy doesn't watch his mouth at all. So there's one part, like, he'll... I'm not... I'm paraphrasing here. Have, I'm heavily paraphrasing. He'll mess up something that he's doing. He's going, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm gonna die, fuck. And then the next the <laughs> next line is like, fixed it. It's it's so funny. It's, it's absolutely... It's a fantastic book. I'm certainly looking forward to reading it. I just gotta get through The Fault in Our yeah. Stars for, like, the third time. Yeah, I meant to read, um, yeah, remember when we were, our junior year, when we were in business education, and the teacher asked how many of us read, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and you and I were the only ones to raise our hands? Yes. Because we were the only ones with the gall to admit it. Yeah, probably, because other people did it, and you and I just, we stuck our hands up, because we had read it. I'm, yeah, I'm sure every... Sure. Yeah. I still have no well, shame. Yeah. Well, and I think if you hadn't raised your hand, I wouldn't have. But because yeah. you raised your hand, I raised mine. I promise you every girl in that class read it. Absolutely. I, At least yeah. one of them. They're, they're so bad, too. Like, I don't understand how they're so popular. I've read all three. They're so bad. They're, I mean, they're not and, and the awful mo- written. That's just the story. I mean, some people are into it. That's yeah. what somebody's well, looking I, for. I, some people are into I it because it's wasn't. porn. It's 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 written porn. That's yeah. all it is. Where they dance around yeah. it. But um, I, yeah, I've the movies. The movies I hear. Really yeah, the movies I hear were really bad because uh, the main the lead characters, the actors, hated each other, and there was like no chemistry between them. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Speaking speaking of uh, actors and actresses, Kristen Stewart gets a lot of bad rap for being a bad actress. I was, I was presented with something recently. I was presented with photos of an actress doing a phenomenal job of acting. I had no idea who she was until someone pointed out it was Kristen Stewart. And then someone said, um, I don't think the problem is she's a bad actress. I think the problem is, if you've read Twilight, Bella Swan is a dull, uninteresting character. There's, yeah. she, she's super uninteresting. And what Kristen Stewart Absolutely. did was played Bella Swan perfectly. And, she get, and because of that, people say she can't act because she played Bella Swan perfectly. You know, there was no emotion on Kristen Stewart's face because Bella's a boring character. She wouldn't, ha- she wouldn't have had any emotion. And so she yeah. played Bella Swan. I- I really enjoy Kristen Stewart's acting. I, I really, kind of, not not really, not per se, fell in love with her, but I Is really started enjoying crush? her stuff after watching American Ultras. Just it's such a weird stoner movie, but she was she was really good in it, and I really enjoyed it. And she's probably one of my favorite female actors. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm heavily biased. Twilight was to, just uh... a bad. It was just a bad story. Yeah, opinion, I'm he- I'm heavily biased to uh, Emma Watson. I like I like Emma Stone though. Easy A was but a good movie. Simply just. Simply just what? What was that? 
You said simply just something. Simply just what? Oh, I just... It, it was poorly written, and turning that book into a movie would not have been a great outcome, I don't feel like. Of, uh... It's like Twilight? the Hunger Games didn't adapt well to film. No, it didn't. I... We'll probably get lynched for saying that, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, people yeah, are going to hate for, for yeah. a lot of stuff I say. But yeah, well... It I, is what it is. It, it's, it's why I tell anyone who's like, oh, I'm going to watch the Hunger Games movies, do not do it. Read the books. Please just read the books. Because the books, the books are good. Yeah, the, the books, books are, are You know, I enjoyed the books. Personal preference, a little upset she didn't end up Spoilers. A little upset she didn't end up with Gale. She ended up with Peter. Those have been out a while. I don't know if that counts as a spoiler. Personal I, know, I think per- two years the spoiler thing ends. Yeah, how long have they been That's out? They, they, they've been out longer than that. They've been longer out because they were out when I was a... F- yeah, they, they were out when... So not spoilers. Little upset she ended up with Peter and not Gale. Personal preference. Peter seems like a bitch. Gale's kind of a badass personal preference so but other other than that you know the books the books are great i enjoyed the books i think catching fire was the last one i saw and i just i wasn't into I catching I didn't, fire i didn't watch anything past the first movie yeah i watched i, didn't watch anything I watched anything past the first movie i didn't read the second book i read i wasn't all read, too impressed with the hunger games yeah i'm not all too read, impressed with books very often you're not all too impressed with a lot of things very often. Nope. So that's when that's why when something does impress me, I obsess over it. So does that mean you obsess over me? I'm, just hearing it. I'm not hearing a no. I feel I like yeah. I was gonna say I feel like that joke went over your head because you were talking and I spoke. Uh, yeah. You said when something impresses you, you obsess over it. And I said, so does that mean you've obs- you obsess over me? The oh. correct an- <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, the correct answer is no, he doesn't. But I saw the opportunity <laughs> for a joke, and I took it. It's it's what it is. It happens. You can- we, we all make bad jokes. They flop occasionally. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll hear a lot better humor. Possibly. Possibly so. not. Dep- it depends what people find funny. You know, <laughs> some people are like me and absolutely adore puns. Uh, some people are like you and hate puns. Some people like me are right. Some people like you are wrong. Joking. Because I said that and people will go, Oh, he totally means it. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, no. It Here's, here's my philosophy on humor. Which is the same as my philosophy on music. If you like it, like it. You know, it, some people go, oh, you you can't like it, this, it's bad to like that, you're wrong for liking this. I have a very dark sense of humor. I enjoy dark jokes. I enjoy, you know, any uh, pretty much any kind of joke. If you looked me in the eye and made a white person joke, I would laugh. If you looked me in the eye and made a black person joke, I would laugh. If you m- looked me in the eye and made a stupid Disney princess pun, I would laugh. So just, you know, open, just accept the jokes are jokes. I'd laugh at religion jokes too, uh, even of my own religion. Just accept jokes are jokes and enjoy them. You know? Yeah, I, I think there's, there's something when it comes to comedy that you have to dis- sort of disassociate it from reality in a way. It's yeah, like you, you can't know. take a joke, you can't take it personal, you can't take it serious, you can't you can't assume that that's literally what that person means. Yeah, when Daniel the... Tosh says that that he would light someone on fire and send them to hell, he does not literally mean that. He, it, it's funny. It's the that's the it's a it's joke. It's a joke. Well, that's that's uh, something similar to what a lot of people have the problem with Dane Cook because if you listen to Dane Cook and you don't associate the name, you'd go, oh, he's a funny guy. But, um, I think, I think a lot of people first saw him at Madison Square Garden, 
where he was making jokes about how great he was because he had done years of smaller shows and people were excited to see him because they knew his comedy. But for the for people seeing him for the first time at Madison Square Garden, where he's talking, one of the first jokes he makes is about him having a big dick. And a lot of people saw yeah. that, and that was their first exposure to him, and hated him. But if you don't associate the name Dane Cook, and you just listen to his comedy, you would you would probably enjoy it, you know? Yeah. So it's... Don't don't take people too seriously with comedy. That's my that's like my thing with music. You know, just just enjoy what you enjoy. You know, one of I've got a cousin uh entering uh he he's like entering fifth grade. You know, he listens to um he listens to some One Direction and so I told him, you know, just listen to whatever you like. I listen to Avril Lavigne, you know, I like the sound of her voice. Listen to whatever you like, laugh at whatever you like, and don't let anyone tell you differently. Uh, my thing is, you know, I have ever-changing music tastes. And I'll listen to one thing, and then six months later, I, I may not even like that. So, which I, is also I've started taking things, like, when people talk about their music, it's like, oh, well, that's cool, I'll check it out, maybe. But if, if I know I don't like that kind of music, I just, I'm not going to listen to it. But if you don't like it, or if you like it, then that's fine. You know, I don't care. Yeah, just don't blast you know, it in my ears, please. The only thing, the only time I'll ever, like, be iffy with music and be like, I don't know if people should listen to that would be, I, I will get lynched for this rap music. Because you can of listen what... to rap music all you want. I listen to plenty of rap music that doesn't have the yeah. messages that you assume all rap music has. Well, no, I don't think all rap music has. I think there's plenty of good rap. You know, I like I like like comedy rap, but it's it's hard for me to differentiate some stuff. I you know a lot of raps about drugs. A lot of a, a lot of rap is. I don't like the aggression it has to it. Is my problem. You know, people will go out and be like, "Oh fuck, haters! You don't need them." And that's like like that's cool. Move on, though. Don't keep going on about fuck them, beat them, shit on them. Just just leave that alone. It's but it's see, just it's that, so aggressive. That point of view is so, so small, though, that there are a few extreme cases where that happens, that somebody's like, oh, fuck you, fuck you, I hate you, I'm gonna kill everybody, blah, blah, blah. For the most part, these are just as much musicians as anybody else. Yeah. These are just as talented as anybody else. They're just somebody it, who simply enjoys an art form, yeah. and they make it their own, and they do it the way they want to do it. Okay. Isn't your problem and express with country? Yourself however the fuck you want. Isn't isn't your problem with country that it's all songs about alcohol, truck, and women? See, I, my isn't, problem with country is simply that it's just devolved from the label they call it. I'm not a fan okay, of putting music in labels. When that's but fair when enough. you call the new the new rappy hip hop country. And then put that that's, alongside Hank Williams Sr. and the old school country music that's stars. That's fair enough. I, that, I'll, I'll, that is destroying a legacy, I see. You know? I, I'll, Call I'll that other stuff yeah. something else. I'll, I will concede here. That's a fair enough point. I will concede here. Because so. when you put Colt Ford up in the same list as Hank Williams Sr., you're doing a disservice to Hank Williams Sr. Yeah, the, the problem is country doesn't have enough genre sp- uh, spreading out. What's the variety? It doesn't have a lot of genre variety. And this is it's like your your issue with rap and you need... is just like putting a name on something and then just associating that name with an entire thing you don't like. You can't yeah, take like, that name for what that specific song is. Yeah, because like take uh, take Star Bomb, which the Game Grumps do, or take Epic yeah. Rap Battles of History. You know, I think that stuff's fantastic. It's, yeah. But I, I have trouble listening to mainstream rap, you know? That's like, there there are plenty of rappers I listen to. Like, there's Watsky, Spose, Post Malone. Those are very few that I listen to. Uh, Childish Gambino, Chance the Rapper. You know, just guys that, are, that they're fairly mainstream at this point. But Well, Chance's, I've never heard of the others. They're so drastically different. 
they're yeah. all so drastically different but they're under the same title you know but they're they're nothing alike yeah a, a, a lot of what does does it for me too is i'll look at an album cover and if i don't like the image and and, and not like personal preference but like um if there's an image with people holding guns or sitting looking like you're about to rob a bank i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna pick on stormzy for a little bit here uh, you know, he, he's got an album cover where it's a bunch of people looking like they're about to uh, rob a bank. And for me, I have to, sometimes the album cover will turn me off from the music. And so I'll have to work my way around that to sit yeah. down and listen to the music. Other times, uh, people will have a good album. Of, of course, it, go, it does go both ways. Kanye West has an album. It's got a good album cover. But I think at one point he was talking about selling drugs to kids, and that totally just turned me off. You know, so it it does it does go both ways. You can have a phenomenal yeah. album you, cover and bad in music I won't like. You can have an album cover I don't like in music that I'll love. So my thing, you gotta you have to, or you can't just judge something off of something that is not that. You know, you can't judge yeah. a song on an album cover. Yeah, well, that's why you, you uh, my thing there are plenty of artists i i totally dislike that there are songs by them that i love you know yeah like i'm not a huge fan of marilyn manson as a person or what he believes but the, i mean i enjoy his music yeah. there's there's a difference between being talented and being a shitty person and if you're talented and a shitty person you know you still deserve to be recognized you're still a talented person well you can be justin bieber and be shitty at both of those two things Justin Bieber gets a lot of shit, but I mean that man is—he's following a dream. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm he's, making jokes. He's doing here. what he I'm wants making, to do. He, yeah, he—he he was deported from America like, for a reason, though. That that poor guy—he goes—he gets so much shit, and he's just trying to have a career in what he wants yeah, to have a I'm, career. I'm, in. Yeah, fair warning. I was making a joke, you know, but using Justin Bieber uh, as an example, just talking real quick. He had to break from his uh, from his tour because he was on tour for two years or something crazy like that. And it was doing bad things to him. And then people were going, oh, how dare you break from your tour? And it's like, seriously, give give the man a rest. He's going yeah, to kill himself. Yeah, he's just a human being. He's just a yeah, guy. Espe- and he's, he's, trying to work, uh, he's trying to work back up from a lot of shitty stuff he did do. You know, he did do some yeah. bad stuff. He was, in, he was in America and he talked shit about the country. And he, like, pissed on his fans or something. Speculation. I don't know if that's true or not. But, uh, you know, he, he's yeah, trying to work back from this bad know. rap he, he got. Yeah. I mean, he was, he was a kid. You give yeah. any any kid fame, they're going to lash out. You yeah. Know? Well, that was, that was Michael he's, Jackson's problem. he's learning problem. to deal with it. Yeah. Well, that was, that was Michael Jackson's problem. Everyone always told him, yes, sir, Mr. Jackson. And he got yeah. into, like, that heavy had drugs. No and that killed him. Yeah, and, and those drugs, you know, that he got into yeah. because everyone from the age he was five years old said, yes, sir, Mr. Jackson, and it it killed him. So. Yeah. Fame, you know, people, th- that's not something humans are designed to handle. Yeah, is all that attention. That's why I'm glad I have all of eight subscribers. No one's ever going to notice me. That was, I don't know, that was a joke. It's just one of those things, you know. People are... People are going to do what they want to do, regardless of if they're good at it or not. Yeah, well... And I think good. anybody willing to put themselves out there deserves recognition. Yeah, the good list If you're going to go out in front of a stage and, and scream at the top of your lungs, you deserve a, an applause, you know? Yeah. Well, regardless of... Um... Ta- things needing talent people are gonna go out there and do whatever the fuck they want to do anyways you know um one, one of my friends had a had a philosophy when it came to like drug laws um you know why why should we stop people from doing that shit just weed out stupid people are gonna do whatever they want to do it's their body not sure how much i necessarily agree with that with stuff like cocaine but you know people people are just gonna do what they want to do so yeah, well, my thing with like with drugs and whatnot, people are gonna get them regardless. Yeah, you may as well regulate. They're it. they're illegal already. They are illegal already. People are getting them yeah. already. 
people are abusing them and it is an epidemic in the country you know with the ex- so weed is exempt if, from this though yes absolutely i'm i am yeah a proponent yeah. but well beside I, the point at, at what point is someone's body is the inside of my body no longer my lawful property what am i allowed to not or what am i allowed to do with my body yeah at what point but, am i no longer in control of my body you know yeah in 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 you know things like black tar heroin and crack i can kind of understand but weed was made illegal because the um narcotics division of the government Simply was running propaganda. out of money yeah and and they were like well People uh, don't like Mexicans, and Mexicans use weed. I don't know if it was Mexicans specifically, Hispanics. This was decades ago. This was a long time ago. Yeah, this is and so they made weed ne- illegal nearly to get a more money. Ago. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it was very early 1900s. Uh, if you watch the show Adam Ruins Everything, he talks he talks yeah. about it, and, and he brings up like scientific facts. Like a lot of things people think yeah. weed does, like destroying your brain, that shit stops at 25. Once your brain's fully developed, it weed is literally harmless to you. So, but it, it was made well, illegal. Well, no, see now, for... now that's one thing. Hold on, weed is not one hundred percent harmless. Weed is not a miracle cure all. One hundred percent, no I don't negatives. Think it cures anything. Thing. I don't think it cures anything. I think it just makes things easier. No, no to it 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 certainly it certainly does cure things. There it it promotes cellular regeneration it promotes brain function it, it does help things absolutely yeah, it, helps, it does 100 percent help certain things there are things it does cure it well there it in the sense of stopping something it, it, if a, if something is running rampant and you stop yeah. that that's curing that if you uh, stop a, dis- a cancerous growth that's that's curing i would i would in, i would disagree that i think making it go away is curing well, but, but anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah, but weed beside is the also point. not harmless. It is if if you there are certain ways where it can be harmless if you if you were to go about it, getting the THC out and and changing it like putting it into an edible of sorts. But if you were like say your your average just pot smoker, that's not harmless. That you're still inhaling carcinogens. You're still inhaling smoke. You're still inhaling carbon monoxide. It is still bad for well, you in the sense that do, you are smoking. Do you do you know how much you need to ingest in order to die? In fifteen uh, there, minutes, there is not... you need. In fifteen minutes, you need to ingest over a thousand pounds of it. Yeah, that is the only that's... time weed is going to kill you is if a ton of it falls on you. Yeah, you need to. It's ingest... physically impossible to smoke enough to kill you. Yeah, it's it. You need to ingest uh, on on again. Referring to Adam ruins everything. They they discussed it, and uh, scientifically, you need to ingest in fifteen minutes. I think over a thousand pounds of it. So and if if you can do that, then you'll die. That's more suffocation but... than anything. Yeah. Well, if you yeah. if you ingest a thousand pounds of anything in fifteen minutes, you're gonna die. Yeah. Well, but you know. I, 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 well, obviously, but I think that's, like, the effects of the weed that would kill you. That's when those would kick in. At that point, you're already dead, of course, but besides yeah. that. But when you're thinking hypothetical, at, at what point is hypothetically thinking too far, you know? Like, you can be hypothetical all day, but you can't put any yeah. stamp on how hypothetical you want to be. You know, hypothetically, if I but, have uh, wizard powers, am I the chosen one? <laughs> But I just, you know, I, 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 could, I could be a wizard. I am certainly for cannabis. I am very much for it. Legalization yeah, yeah. completely. Don't, yeah. But it's don't, not it's not magic. You yeah. know, it's nothing yeah. miracle. Yeah. Don't don't get me wrong. I may be playing the bad guy in this scenario. I'm I'm pro weed as well. I think it should be legal. Alcohol does worse things to you. Yeah. But if you're I'm if just you're gonna let people eat talking. dog shit. If I can go outside and pick up a, a thing of dog shit, just a big old pile of dog shit, and just eat it in front of a cop, how is my well-being in their best interest? You know, Am I, I saying know. outlaw dog shit? No. But what I am saying is <laughs> I can go in front of you and eat a handful of dog shit, but I cannot inhale THC or, or anything, any can- cannabinoid. 
can that happen. Would, for my public safety, there's there's a difference there. Is that is that the gender you define yourself as a cannabinoid? Is that? <laughs> I'm no, sorry. I'm a Walgreens I, gift card. I I sexually identify um, as a Kool Aid pouch. I identify I, as a Walgreens gift card. Carry on. Before, yeah, before we get into the in, into that and making, we're yeah. just making stupid jokes now, so we're not yeah, gonna get into that. Yeah, that's a hole I don't want to fall into. Yeah, at least not this early. Don't, on. <laughs> yeah, don't don't make mistakes. I don't know. I'm my thing. I'm, I I I don't disagree with it. You know, I I think at some point the the gender thing becomes kind of silly when you start saying there's seventy two separate genders. Yeah, it's, but I I think if some you know, if you, you should be able to feel the way you feel, and nobody yeah. should be able to tell you that you're wrong. Okay, here's here's here, here, here's where I'm here, here's where I'm gonna stand. I think scientifically, there's two genders: male, female, and there's that in between of the hermaphrodite. Um, and I think you can do whatever the fuck you want with those three things. Yeah. So, put it put the square in the round hole. I don't care. You got a square, circle, triangle, yeah, do whatever the fuck you yeah. want to do with it, those. It, you know? I'm very pro-LGBTQ. what you want to do. Yeah, it, do what you want to do as long as you don't hurt anybody else. I don't give a damn what you do. As long as you don't give a fuck what I do. You know? Yeah. Well, and, and, and that's the problem with people, is they go, I'm offended, but it's okay for me to attack you. I'm you yeah. can't do this to me, but these rules don't apply when I want to do it to you. And that's that's where I start to get pissed off, is the is just hypocrisy. Yeah. You know, that, if... That, but that that's a big issue, you know, and you can't just blanket that over one group as well. That's one of the... Back to the music that's, thing. That's over everyone. Can't that's let one over bad everyone. egg spoil the... Yeah. You know, that's that's one, one of my problems with... There are um, hypocrites everywhere. Yeah. Well, and, and I'm... I'm I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a shot at one thing that affiliates with me, uh, you know I'm a religious person, but I have a lot of problems with the church because the church religion's supposed to be about love and acceptance. Uh, I think there are only seven sins, and uh, everyone goes, oh, being gay is bad. We have to judge the people who are being gay, and it's you know especially when people are supposed to be held to that kind of level like a church, it's. You can't do this kind of shit. That's not okay. You know, yeah, you're supposed to it, love it and says accept everyone. Specifically, that God's the one who judges, so let him yeah, be it's, the one who judges. And and everyone loves to. I'm I'm gonna get into this just a small bit more because I get I I take it very personally when a religious person comes at someone gay. Let's not get I'm, too deep into it. I'm 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 no I'm gonna end this here. Person, there's a passage everyone loves to quote. Personally, I don't think it's even about being gay. I think it's about cheating. And it was just an example being used. Because the fact the fact of the matter is the Bible is written by man. And I think man... Yeah. The only thing that's from the word of God is in anything that's in red if you get a red letter version. And I think a lot of that was interpreted by man to fit what man wanted because man doesn't like change. So, One the fact thing with the, the Bible is, that I see is the fact that it is a piece of literature. And... You can't take everything to one hundred percent literal t interpretation when it comes to literature. Yeah, well, I'm 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 not gonna go quite there because again, red letter editions. Yeah. What's said by God is supposed to be taken literally, but again, I also don't agree with a lot of what the church teaches. I think the church has yeah. fallen from their high pedestal of what they should be teaching, and I encourage independent study personally. I I heavily yeah. encourage independent religious study. It's, it's I, what I, I, I always encourage doing your own research on anything. You know, don't yeah, just take you know, one I, person's say went, as, as the rule. You know. Yeah, I was I was raised in a church. Basically, I've all, my family's always gone to church. I pulled out at one point because I just it's like no, I'm gonna go do independent study. Uh, minus my break where I was atheist. Um, I just I just don't agree a lot with what the church teaches. I don't think it does a good job of teaching what it should be teaching. So, but again, you know, that's just that's just me. Make your own decisions. So, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get into that too much. Yeah, I, mean, I have personally. But I don't. I don't, 
I don't have much to uh, to say on the topic. I'm not a churchgoer. I don't know a lot of the inner workings of it, but I do know that people get unfairly judged by anybody, and uh, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, are regardless you, are, Christian, whatever. Yeah, you know. Are you religious? I know you a while at the end of uh, halfway through like senior year. You were thinking about it. Did you ever decide to be? I don't know. That's one uh, of those things enough. that I, I question often. Yeah, fair uh, enough. But I also, you know, I don't have much solid stance on it. Yeah, fair I, enough. I don't, I don't care to define myself yet. Yeah, f- fair, fair enough. Fair enough. But, like, going back a bit, talking about just hate and everyone... A lot of people who get a lot of shit that shouldn't get that kind of shit are Muslims. Absolutely. You have one bad... Because it's, it's, it's such a peaceful, loving religion. It really is. And you have one group of bad apples that took one line... It, like, one or two lines in the Quran way too far. And still violate those two lines. I don't know. So, I just, just I just think the whole religion gets a lot of shit. Now, what... Uh, it's simply extremism, you know. Yeah. That when there are extremists on all sides, there are yeah, people you know, who go out shooting up a church full of black folks in the name of God. You know. Yeah, you, you know, take Every the Westboro Baptist Church for example. Yeah. It's, you know, so you, you, you can't, can't judge all of God Christians hate. on the Westboro Baptist Church. You can't judge yeah. all all of Muslims, all Muslims on, on extremists on a, on a bad incident. You know. Yeah. But America's real good at that right now. But yeah. that's another line I'd rather stray away from. But yeah, that's... well, we don't want to get too deep into that one. We've gone into religion and gender. We may as well get into politics. Please, let's not. But we may as well. Let's not. Let's not get the Holy Trinity and throw politics in here too. <laughs> I'm. I'm so. I'm so done. I'm so done with politics. I can't even go on Twitter anymore because everyone's always bitching it... about politics. Yeah, it's just like. Let me enjoy I, my Twitter. I've shut off my Facebook, so I don't, yeah. I don't see that that cluster of negativity anymore. I just use Messenger. Yeah, I've, tw- Twitter's where it's real bad. Twitter's where it's really bad. But I follow yeah, well, a lot of leftist people. That's the easiest, quickest people. kind of like the literal stream of consciousness. Feels yeah. like. Well, a, a lot of the people who create content that I enjoy are very leftist and anti-right at all. And so, yeah. um, you know, I just get a lot of it. The only thing I'm really concerned about is in politics is really, please do not go to war with North Korea. I, I, I mean, played... I prefer us not go to war with anybody, honestly. Yeah, I, let's follow Japan. Japan is sworn never to declare war. They've said they're never going to use nuclear weapons. They have, a f- they have a flame that they've lit that will only go out once all the nuclear weapons in the world are gone. So we'll see that that's the kind of thing that happens when you get hit by a nuclear bomb. Yeah, you you, you see the full destructive force of the uh, as described as d- America dropping a thousand suns. Y- yeah, you see, you, know. you see that damage. You're not going to want to do that to anybody else. Yeah, Einstein said, and I hate that anybody had to go through that. But it's yeah, like it's, it's so terrible. It seems like everyone needs to at this point in order to realize the damage you can Let's, do. It, with We're the in a very representative seeming world, and yeah. it's it's odd. With America with the, doesn't seem to fucking get it either. Let me well let me finish let me finish this thought. With the exception of the U.S., because I live in a major city and I don't want to die. <laughs> Because I'm looking out for my own goddamn ass here. <laughs> you know, if you, if you want to take it across the country, then we can discuss that. Leave my side of the country alone. I live in a major city. Please don't. You know, it's, it's why for the most part, I'm, I'm, you know, the saying, I'm a lover, not a fighter. It's totally true with me. You know, I'm not going to say I'm atheist and don't believe in violence. I love way too many video games for that to be true. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'd much rather sit things down. It, Doctor Who gave a fantastic war speech. You know, when you pull that trigger, you don't know how many how many people are gonna die. You know, you don't know whose lives are gonna be taken until at the end we all we all do what we were going to do at the beginning 
and sit down and talk. Skip the war. Just sit down and talk. Stop sh wagging your dick around going, I'm going to threaten you with this and that. Just leave it. Yeah, well, when you have two national superpowers, the leaders of both of those countries are two megalomaniacs who are just in a shit-slinging contest, and they both walked in the door and whipped their dick out. And they said, hey, everybody, this is what I'm packing. Don't fuck with me or I'll burn your goddamn house down. Yeah. And that's where we're at. I had we're to Google a, a megalomaniac, uh, a, but yes. <laughs> it, it's the standoff we were at in the Cold War, it seems like, but a lot less diplomatic. Yeah. Well, this is, this is where it could have gone, it feels like. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's like... It's stop, please. And, and we're supposed to have such fantastic military leaders up there. Why aren't you going, don't fucking do this. You will murder everyone on this planet. Stop. Don't do this. Well, it's like, if, there, are pe there are plenty of people screaming to stop, but the people in charge are not listening. That's the thing. When, when it, someone is so consumed by their ego, they're not going to listen to anybody else. That's the problem. Yeah. That's why we're in this situation. Yeah, in those phenomenal military leaders we have should be looking at this from a military standpoint going, this is a really fucking bad idea. We shouldn't do this at all. This is a bad idea. You can't threaten more people with nuclear war, especially when some of those people are fucking crazy and will absolutely go through with it, you know? It, if we get into war with North Korea... Then we get into war with Japan, with, uh, not Japan, China. And if you've played Fallout, you know what happens when the U.S. and China go to war. <laughs> Nothing a term for that. good happens. It's called Mutually Fallout. Mutually assured destruction. Yeah. It's, it, nothing good's gonna happen. Let, let's all just enjoy because life and be happy. Because if you fuck with China, you're fucking with Russia, too. And if yeah, you exactly. Russia, you're fucked. <laughs> you're not gonna win. We... I don't think we would win if we fought Russia. You know, I don't Nepal, know. Look at... Look, Nobody look would at, win. Yeah, Russia would win. There would be no one left to win. There would be no one left to win. Russia would, would win. It would be so catastrophic. It would be so catastrophic, so cataclysmic that nobody would win. It's, it would just it's it too, would be the it's end. It's too fucking... Napoleon tried to do it. He didn't succeed. It was too fucking cold. Hitler tried to do it. He didn't succeed. It was too fucking cold. We try and do it. We're well, not when you drop succeed. the sun, it's too fucking cold. It will still be too fucking. When cold. you drop the sun on the icy tundra, the ice melts. Does it That's though? The or does it with freeze the war. sun? The the issue is you're not going to freeze a nuclear bomb. You're right. We're not. If you I'm drop just... a if you drop a nuke on Russia, and key key points that. At that point, you're not going in to capture it. You're going in to destroy the other team. Yeah, the and fact you can you can you can destroy Russia with enough with enough nuclear energy. You could destroy nukes. the planet with like, enough nuclear but, you energy. Know. We would, you know. Yeah, that's why you you and I have discussed it and why um why you think uh, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us apocalypse is uh, so much more realistic. And not talking about zombies, of course, is so much more realistic than Fallout's. Uh, I think it was you. You think nature, nature would just fight back really hard and encompass everything, but I think I think we'd end up with Fallout where we yeah would the Earth destroy... would take over. Yeah, well, I I think we would end up with uh, like Fallout. We would destroy that. We would destroy nature and we would destroy the Earth, and nothing could come back. You know, that's why food is so scarce. That's why there are cows with two heads. There's mutant... There's, there's a fruit in the game called mutt fruit. I pronounce it mutt fruit. M-U-T fruit. It's mutated fruit. Because we would fuck everything yeah. over with um, with nuclear fallout. There'd just be no win. Well, see, the thing is... You can see in... Just in our history, where there has been nuclear fallout, where there have been nuclear disasters, and you can see in Chernobyl, it is not, it's not desolate. It is not a ruined area. Nature is taking over. 
And yeah. I feel like if you do that to the whole world, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Well, those and I, are... I would prefer that personally. Yeah. Uh, what, what I say is those are small areas. I think if you fucked over enough, you know, you can, if, if there's a small infection, you can fight that small infection, infection, get rid of it, move on. But if I fuck over my arm and not just put a spot on my arm, the arm's gone. It needs to be cut off at that point. There's no coming back, you know? Yeah, but so. eventually, eventually that radiation is going to decay. The world is going to be around much, much long after the nuclear fallout is over with. I, it's I it's going so. to outlive to an extent. It Those nuclear bombs are not going to just wipe out all of life. Something's going to, it's going to mutate and it's going to, it's going to adapt yeah and well, that's and, what's gonna happen and yeah. it's gonna take over it it'll take time for sure but it'll take over yeah speaking speaking of earth outliving things changing the subject briefly do you know the <laughs> earth is gonna outlive the sun like when the sun explodes it, well when the sun explodes when the sun dies it's not going to explode and fucking kill us all it's gonna go out like a complete and total bitch and with a whimper we are going to be Totally but fine even that whimper could probably vaporize everything. No, no, it. We will be scientists have looked at it. We're gonna be totally fine. I, I mean, we're gonna be frozen solid. But other than that, we're gonna be totally yeah. fine. It, Earth is too know, far away. That's all speculation, anyway. Though there's no telling what's actually gonna happen. We can't record I, it. We I can't, trust scientists. We can't get close enough. Well, but even those scientists say that that's that's very 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 probable it could happen those scientists themselves will tell you that 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 could be completely wrong yeah fair enough a good I mean, scientist will tell you that they could be absolutely wrong somebody who yeah. fit, who actually goes into that is fine with being wrong they they yeah. they'd be happy to be wrong if they're closer to the actual answer yeah i mean fa fair enough look at a uh, harry potter for an example you trust authority too much and uh, nothing good comes out of it. Period. I don't yeah. like Dumbledore. And and people lynch well, me for that too. Well, you can look at the the world for that example. Yeah, I don't know. You trust people... authority too much, and you. you know. Yeah, I, I I have to defend myself real quick because people are gonna lynch me for saying I don't like Dumbledore. There is no excuse on the face of this earth to leave a child in an abuse in an abusive home. So. Just gonna throw that in there real quick and defend myself. Yeah. I mean, in a real world situation for sure. But in a literary sense, it, it could be no. integral to the plot. No, he, he knew he knew Harry was yeah. living there. There's no excuse. There's no excuse to enter you know, people one of my favorite theories, because uh, I think someone mentioned in the books that as children they they wrote Harry Potter letters. And uh, Harry never got them. The Dursleys never got them. You know, his mail was getting fucked with. I think uh, Dumbledore was incredibly manipulative. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't like him. I don't like him. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I get where you're coming from, but I'm a firm believer and without resistance, there is no strength. So. What do you mean? If you, if you don't, well, with no resistance, there is no strength. You can't yeah, gain well, well, no, no, experience what? by... What resistance are you talking about? Just getting about? pulled out of this. Well, I mean, I, I totally get an abusive home is awful, and you know, and and in a real world situation, you should be pulled out of that. But in a story, that is something that character has to overcome and deal with, and that is a strength they they carry on with them later on that helps them develop as a better mm -hmm. person. I to to be fair, by by all counts, there's no way Harry should have ended up the way he did psychologically there's no way he should have ended up as sassy and defiant as he did not if he got beat regularly not if he got mentally abused regularly it's those just, situations d those situations breed two people someone who succumbs to that and becomes that that which they were abused and there are some who become something better in spite of that and that's what i see in harry there are people I, who, who that it's like the small town life in Leesville. There are two people to come out of it. People who leave 
and and want nothing to do with it in spite of the shittiness and people who stay and fall into the same drug fueled crap hole that it is yeah leesville a place of which i do not live you know yeah it's not luckily it's not give (laughs) no i i don't live there i can't speak for for caleb caleb will need to speak for himself there let's not let's not just start disclosing where we live which again i do not live in leesville leesville of a state that we will not specify i will disclose leesville louisiana is a fucking shit hole okay Okay. Well, he w- Caleb will disclose that much. That's that's what he'll yeah, disclose. I'm, I will disclose. I don't live there. I live far away from there. So I just don't want to start. I, I'm goof. not. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid you, to to warn people of this hole. Stay away from here. Don't yeah, come that's, here. That's, There's nothing here for you. Yeah, that's that's. I, I guess. God you forbid have you that you end up here. Yeah. God forbid they end up there looking for you. Because you said something to piss them off. Then again, I guess everyone oh, knows what sucks. town like Markiplier and the Gangrums live in, so it's probably fine. If somebody wanted to find me, they'd find me. That simple as that. That's something I... If I get into this, I've got to accept at some point. Might as well accept it now. Yeah, fair if enough. If you're going to find me, you're going to find me. That's well, I, I think I think I've dropped the city I live in. I just wouldn't drop specifically what part of it I live in, you know? I've... Yeah. So you could probably find that in like a video saying, uh, "I live in." Well, and, and I guess when I said they made a Fallout game, uh, where I live, I don't know if we talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> talked about that. Well, you did to, now. So. Yeah, we, we do. Well, we we did at the, we did at the beginning because I was at the wiki. You know, we we talked about. I live in Las Vegas. It's it's very clear. You know that I live there, so yeah, well, I guess I can't. I mean, that's pretty irrelevant anyway. Yeah, you know, I talked about me living in a major city. Eventually, people were going to connect the dots. Yeah. But my thing is, you know, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm fairly trusting, and I don't, I don't feel like anybody's out to get me. I don't feel like, you know, I'm going to say anything that's going to piss somebody off to the point where they're going to come and murder me. I mean, what is there to be afraid of? Yeah, I... I can I can see that, but you just you say so much. At one point, someone's going to get offended. You know, we talked, we covered religion. I played the bad guy and some stuff. We covered religion, gender, uh, drugs. We've covered we've covered a lot of good. Yeah. I mean, this is but, right now an hour and a half podcast, so we've we've covered some shit. And, well, and in the same respect, I don't plan on living anywhere for very long. Anyway. Yeah, you Not you kind of know for somebody to. Yeah. Yeah. This is I, th- th- this is one of the areas you and I sep- differentiate on. Uh, you're nomadic because you've lived where you live all your life. Yeah. I'm I'm a settler because I grew up a military brat and have never really had a place to call my own. I've never had a, for lack of a better term, a home. You know, I've had I've had a house, yeah. I've had a family, but I've never I've never settled anywhere. So I'm like. I want to settle in some place, and I want to live in some place, you know? So. Yeah, I, I feel you. It's just really, really what it is, is but that's, I, I guess that's one perk is, you know, you'll, you'll come, you know, to one place, then you go to another. It's just, it's where you yeah. and I. I mean, you can be a lot basically. more careful with your location, but I'm never gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna be anywhere long enough to establish myself there. So. Yeah, and that's you know. that's you know again where you and I differentiate. I would love. And honestly, if I get if I get big to enough to where myself. people are gonna want to find me, that's that's cool. If somebody's gonna seek me out, I'm gonna. They're gonna spend time to find me out. I'll, I'll respect them enough to spend a little time on them. Yeah. Well, that's why I like like cons and stuff. You can go and meet the, meet the people. So, it's just, in in I guess cons aren't exactly the best example because, you um. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You, I phrase, you only get to meet so many people and you only have so much time to, shake hands with so many people then you get you get sick as fuck but it's you know i would i would love to do 
you know, one day just meet meet all the people that take the time to listen and watch my stuff, all eight of you. Yeah. Or if you <laughs> go back, you know, three years from now, all five thousand of you. I'm not. I'm not even sure if that's optimistic. Maybe I should go with a bigger number, because there are people who've been doing this for a few years and have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But, you know, that's just that's yes. just yeah. what it is. But you know, if if I get big and people find me, I mean, one that's really weird, and I I trust that there's there's a little bit of agreement, mutual respect as human beings that you not come and find me. Yeah, but so some people but, don't have yeah. that line though, of it's not okay. You know, you hit the obsession point, and this is all hypothetical for us. We're both very small. I've got eight subscribers. I don't know how many you have. So it's just really. Really, all all hypothetical. So. You see, this is when I would uh, ring in that I am I am pro gun, and I would be carrying a gun or have one in my home. So if somebody rolls up in my house doing sketchy shit, then you know, if it comes to some dire situation, I can defend myself. Yeah, but then we get that kind of shitty publicity, and in this line of business, we don't want shitty publicity. We want good publicity. The, I, the, this isn't. This is one podcast. This isn't a line of business. I'm not expecting some huge breakthrough. I'm doing yeah. this because it's cool. Because I enjoy yeah, well, it. You know, I well, like having and, a good conversation. Yeah, and, and I'm not expecting a huge breakthrough on YouTube either. I'm doing it sense of control. It's something I want to do. But I'm just kind of thinking just where what could happen. How would that work, you know? I line of business I'm trying to get into. You're just having fun, so I guess it's 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 different. It's different lines of thoughts. So yeah, I mean I see where you're coming from. I just you know I'm I don't worry about it. I'm pretty uh pretty nonchalant over things I can't control. If somebody's yeah. gonna do something, they're gonna do it. I have no hand in what somebody else is going to do. All I can do is be prepared for something to happen. Whereas I'm a planner and a thinker, and I, I overthink a lot of times, so. Yeah, well, you know. If you can't control it, why? what's there to worry about? But with that, we're going to move on to a break. Please. We will, uh, we'll, we might place, like, some YouTube ad here. If I can get uh, I think yeah. I think I think YouTube does that. I don't think we pick that. Well, you can pick where it goes. Yeah, I guess. There's a little or, scroller. Or we just we just cut the break out so people don't have to sit there. Or I know we sit here that. in silence for however long. Or you oh no, I, I'm for... completely aware of how to do it. Yeah. Or you can, can just, just take about 15 seconds to talk while I go do a thing. Blank. Waste time. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to go on a break, and uh, we'll be back. And you, we are back. Uh, so, ha I have a beer. Had a little water break. Yes. So, before we got back I'm into so what we're, sitting, we're talking so, about. Sorry, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, I've got a beard. I love it. It just, it just but, made me uh, laugh really hard. But we were talking about our hair, and uh, our, yeah. our facial hair, and what we got going on. And we're trying to tra transition out of some out of some more serious shit, I guess. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but recently I've been trying to grow out a uh, what what looks to be an '80s porn stash. <laughs> <laughs> complete with sideburns. Don't just leave it an '80s porn stash. Just leave it an '80s porn stash. Oh my god, that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, this is why we've been friends uh, for four years. <laughs> One day, uh, my boss texted me from work, and she's, uh, and we, we've been waiting for our, like, like, corporate inspector for a while, I guess that's what she is. Yeah. And she, and my boss texts me at 9 o'clock in the morning. I, I leave for work at 9.30, I gotta be there at 10, and she's like, Amanda's here. I'm like, oh god, no. So, and that's the inspector lady. She came. I was going to say, I was like, oh, no. Get there. 
<laughs> it's like oh no because at the time i had like a, i was had like a little like jock not like jock strap <laughs> but like a like a, a chin strap going just it was just what i could do with facial hair i was trying it out just lining my face up to hide the double chin you know yeah um <laughs> but uh so i went and i was like oh crap i gotta shave i gotta get dressed i get oh this is this is too much to do at one time and i still gotta take a shower oh and so i'm freaking out and so i just i just shaved the beard off i was like i can i can do i can like get by with a mustache and the sideburns that's fine let's clean up whatever and then i like i looked at i looked at myself in the mirror and i was like i'm gonna commit to this i'm gonna do this this is me for the next year and so i'm gonna do this for a while i'm gonna i'm gonna play the adult actor yeah. look 80s porn stash i'm gonna be laughing that five uh, that five <laughs> days from now but you've you've known i've always talked about having a beard i've always talked about my beard because i i yeah. absolutely i absolutely love uh i love beards i love facial hair uh so you know i i get we got out of high school where our high school had a uh no no facial hair policy your mustache can't go past your lips so i don't know how yeah. i got away it, with it, it was sideburns silly. can only be so long broke that rule too um, so we got out of high school and I said, I'm finally fucking growing out my beard. And it, it got like lumberjack. I had the lumberjack going on, but I've, I've you shaved it down. You had the goober down. going. Yeah, I've, I've shaded down to the, um, the work beard, I guess it's called. I forget what it's actually called. But I've, I've sh it's, it's still there. It's not gone. It's actually a little bit longer than it is, but than it's usually especially during uh when i go to class or college but um yeah caleb caleb's he's not growing any facial hair he's cutting his hair and i'm doing the exact opposite i'm growing my mustache out i'm growing my beard out i'm growing my hair long and well see i am growing my hair Christ. out and I am growing my facial hair out, just you're, not my chin facial yeah, hair. You're growing out your mustache, and you're getting a war ponytail, basically. I, yes, but I am keeping a bit of sexy stubble on the chin. You know, gotta gotta keep a little stubble. I thought you just um, forgot to shave this morning. No, it, it's intentional. I just trim it up. I okay. look ragged on purpose. Yeah, change changing subject slightly. Are you wearing razor headphones? Yes. Are they good? I've had them for a while. These are an older model, but I've I've had them for yeah. years. My my go-to headphones are Skull Candy, so I was just curious. I've never I've never really used Razor because Razor is always so expensive. The, these were seventy dollars, I think, when I bought them. <laughs> my and wireless. Since then, I've had them for for like five years now. I think yeah. four or my, five years. My, my wireless my wireless bluetooth headphones were only ten dollars more than that well i i don't like wireless quality i would really? rather have a wired connection i i can't stand wires i don't like wires at all I, I, they get in the way they i'm a guitar get guy out. i'm a guitar I, guy so i'm kind of a sucker for cables I'm an audio guy. I've worked audio for three years now. I've I've stopped. I stopped when I moved because it was um almost like an extra uh, curricular activity. But I I know how to work with cables, and I guess it's because I'm an audio I'm an audio guy where cables are always in the fucking way that I'm just yeah. like take those, shove those over there, get rid of the cables, make everything wireless. They get tangled, they get caught up, they never work. You need to find like four to get them work, four different XLR cables before you've got one that works. Keep it over there. I, Which is really I do suck certainly when my get XLR your perspective. Microphone comes in. I certainly get where you come from. I understand cables are definitely an inconvenience. Um, I just, I prefer, I don't know, I just prefer them personally. I, don't, yeah. I like that I don't have to keep track of a dongle. I like that I don't have to go into my settings and make sure it's all right. I just plug it in and it works. Yeah, fair and, enough. You know, it is what it is. Cheaper too. Yeah. Shit. What's, hey, you say with your more expensive headphones than my wireless. 
I mean, you I'm know. Just, I'm just saying. They probably sound better. Uh, I there, there's know. something mine, about mine are really good because they're Skull Candy. They are good quality. Yeah, I, I trust Skull Candy a little bit, but it's like there's some Bluetooth you get that it, it's got like a little lag to it, or it just doesn't sound all right. And it, I've never had an issue like that with wires. I don't know, but buy, I mean, I'm also get, get I don't, the hash. It, get as the long hash as it goes. works, it's fine with me. Yeah, get get the. It doesn't hash have to twos. be it's, amazing. Uh, yeah, well, get the Hesh 2s. They were, they were, you know, 80 bucks when I bought them. They were the same wireless as they are wired only without the annoying cord. I actually think they're a little bit better wireless. So. I don't know. But personal I don't think there's going to be a situation where wireless is better. You lose quality in wireless. I literally just talked about how these least, headphones don't At least from quality. my knowledge. I know, I've gone. I've gone through multiple different wireless headphones. I've gone through multiple different wired headphones. So it, I think it's just a matter of finding the right ones. You know, I my Hesh twos yeah. are both wired and wireless. I don't think I wireless. Adore them. Yeah, that's. They're they're what I use when I'm is. playing. Uh, they're they're what I use when I'm playing uh, recording for YouTube. I especially with like the new microphone coming in, where it's not an over the ear thing. It's um, it's just a standalone microphone, and I need uh, the audio to go into uh, a headset so it, the microphone doesn't pick it up. And I've I've got these, and I absolutely love them. They sound absolutely fantastic, you know. I yeah. I love how the I love how the PlayStation I can just plug headphones in. You know, with the Xbox, I have to yeah. do it weird. PlayStation, I just plug in a three point five millimeter into the headphones or into the controller it's with my xbox i can just plug a regular headphone jack into did, it did they change i don't i don't I know if they did that I, for the one i guess they changed that for the one s they didn't do that with the 360 i'll tell you that i am sending you a picture right now 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom of my controller i told totally one i'm holding you. in my hand right this minute playing skate yeah, 3 i i totally believe you I absolutely believe you. I just said that that's that's just something new. Uh, he's sending me a picture because if you can't tell, we're not in the same room. I think we've discussed what? how we are. He lives in one state. I live in another state. Why am I clarifying this? People aren't dumb. You're not monkeys. Although if you leave you leave monkeys in a room with a uh, typewriter long enough, they'll write Shakespeare. I don't think that's true, but, you know. Oh, shit, I just dropped a thing. Interesting. I didn't drop anything bad. I thought I dropped a bad. I didn't drop a bad, so. <laughs> dropped a what? A bad. All right. It was a bad well, drop. Bad. Why is me I saying this new happen? to you? What? How are you confused? Okay. Anyway, we're falling off topic a little I, bit. Yeah. What, um, that we've been doing that all night. Afternoon, yeah. morning, depends when you're listening. It's night yeah, for us. I mean, yeah. As of right now, it is eleven thirty-seven p.m. And and I ain't stopping yet, baby. I'm I'm not gonna specify where it is. For me, you'll find where I live. I've said I live in Las Vegas. It's nine thirty-seven for me gonna say you'll find where i live faster <laughs> you literally just said you weren't city. gonna specify and then you and then you said the city and then still specified specify well because i had already said where it's i live like, ah my my reason i'm not gonna live... tell you but i live in las vegas and it's 9 37 well the reason the i specified <laughs> i'm not gonna say uh, i said i wasn't gonna specify because it's like you'll just find me easier that way going along with the joke then i realized i've already said i live in las vegas multiple times this episode <laughs> so this episode this well, podcast in, in case anyone has missed it in case I anyone has las missed vegas. it grant lives in las, las vegas. vegas home of shitty elvis presley impersonations las vegas washington not nevada <laughs> yes so it's actually uh wash Ve wash vegas i live in wash vegas mississippi <laughs> Las Vegas, Mississippi. 
is wrong with me? Home of the 80s porn stashes, everyone. Can, uh, that needs to be the title of this podcast. Oh, Wash yeah. Vegas, Mississippi. That or 80s Good old porn Wash stash. Vegas, Mississippi. That's where the, the washing machine was invented by the... By by George or Admiral George Washing Machine, John William Carver, and Ad, Ad, Admiral <laughs> General George Washing Machine, and Admiral Washington. George Washing Machine, <laughs> Admiral no 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 Admiral General George Washing Machine, <laughs> and his buddy Jeb Bush. Because they lived at the same fucking time. Please clap. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking hitting the goddamn table. <laughs> Where did Jeb Bush come from? He came from Bushville, I Tennessee. Don't know. I was thinking Washington. Um, Every time I think of George Washington, head. immediately in my brain, I just think of George Bush. I don't know why. What? Because well, he was my first president. He but, was the first president didn't... I ever experienced. And so, in my mind, the first president I experienced was George Bush and George Washington. So they're the same but guy. But then you went to Jeb Bush. Then you went to Jeb Well, Jeb Bush, because he's... Well, because he had that, that situation where he president. asked the audience to clap. And then I thought, it was, I thought that was hilarious. And my brain was all on the same oh, page. What, what? It made sense to so, me. Yeah, okay. So, are you talking about the first George Bush or the second George Bush? Oh, the second one. Okay, because I was going to say... The good old W. Jo so, George Walker? I was going to say, I don't think we were alive during the first one. Jeb, Jeb Bush, best friend of General Admiral George Washing Machine. George Washing Machine. Invented. Who <laughs> invented, invented the washing machine in Wash Vegas, Mississippi? Mississippi. 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 I've, I've always specified Mississippi. From the moment <laughs> I said Wash, Ve Wash Vegas, I, I said Mississippi. Oh. I don't even remember what made me say Wash instead of Las, but it, it happened. So I don't Wash know. Vegas, well, I said Washington, and you just goofed and said yep, Washington. Yep, nope, that's exactly how that happened. That's hilarious. Is you said Washington, and that fucked me up. Because I've been talking too long, you done and goofed. I'm starting to get tongue-tied. So, Washington, I live in Wash Vegas, Mississippi, home of the washing machine. I'm trying to think of any other funny geographical jokes we can make, but I think, I think we got them all out when I fucked up there. Uh, fucking up is always well, funnier when there's someone there with you. You know what they say about bad jokes. What? I don't know. But what do you mean you don't know? So, I I feel kind of no, bad. No, 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 no. Because, no, uh... We, we can't move on, we can't move on. Hold on. I'm, uh... Hold on. Sh no, 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 stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. You know what they say about bad jokes? What do they say? I don't know. Really? Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> Dead silence. Anyways, uh, I feel bad because we guy. just went on break. We just went on break, and I'm out of water. Are you? Are <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have to go refill why a did, bottle. Why didn't you fill up? Well, I, I was doing other up? stuff. Like I what? I... I was focused on emptying the tank, not filling it. Fair enough, I did the same. But I also filled. Well, I don't think about two things at once. Sorry. You Anywho. And this goddamn Canadian side. Anywho. You and this goddamn Canadian side. Anywho. I oh, am going to get some water. Uh, I will be right back. And, uh, are we, are we gonna pause please it? don't. No, pl you, you you can take over, but please don't derail my podcast. Oh, God damn it. Any more than it has been derailed. Oh, God damn it. Don't Shh. run this train off a cliff. Okay. Don't run this train We're gonna off of a cliff. Okay. I'll do a Paddington Bear commercial or some shit. We're going to talk about homosexual teddy bears. So, I don't know where to go with that. I remember one time this guy made a joke. About I remembered the joke about his teddy bear being gay, so we're gonna talk about gay teddy bears. I want you to know 
I'm very supportive of gay teddy bears and gay teddy bear rights. I'm not saying gay people who talk who get teddy bears. I'm specifically talking about teddy bears that you would buy at a store that are homosexual. I'm very supportive of them. I hope one day they run for president. I think a gay teddy bear would make a fantastic president. A dog was a mayor in some place. I don't see why a gay teddy bear can't be. So, um, if you're very pro-gay teddy bear, uh, good for you. You can join me in the gay teddy bear rights. Uh, that's officially what uh, this podcast is. Uh, Caleb, it, it's not. Caleb won't tell you, but he's he's a little iffy on gay teddy bears. Um, not for any bad reason. He's it's not that he's uncomfortable with gay teddy bears. Well, well, he he is, but not because they're different. He had a very traumatic experience with a gay teddy bear, where when he was a child, a gay teddy bear very sensually licked a lollipop in front of him, and it it scarred him a little bit. And so now every time Caleb sees a gay teddy bear, um, he just has these traumatic flashbacks. To this teddy bear licking a lollipop very sensually in front of him. So, um, please don't, please don't be upset if, uh, he has a problem with the gay teddy bears. Um, he has some very traumatic backs. He, he has very traumatic history with them. And, uh, I just, I just hope you'll all, you'll all understand. Um, hopefully, you know. Why are you bringing that up? <laughs> I wasn't fucking. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was straight up sitting here listening for a solid minute and a half. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I just started talking about gate and. <laughs> <laughs> At first, when I walked in, it sounded like you were talking about some real shit. I'm like, oh, no. fuck, what is he talking about? No. And then you said gay teddy bears. Gay teddy I was like, oh, God. How, how he, much did you he hear? He totally goofed. How much did you hear? Oh, I started I didn't, talking. I didn't, I didn't hear all that much, honestly, but it was you, what I did hear was enough. You, you knew that I was talking about a sensitive part of your childhood. I, I started talking about gay teddy bears, and then I specified, I'm not saying gay people with teddy bears, I'm talking about actual teddy bears that are gay, and how I was okay <laughs> with it, and hope one day there would be a president, because there's been a dog mayor, and about how I was very pro-gay teddy bear, but you weren't, because you had a very traumatic experience <laughs> as a child, where a teddy bear sensually licked a lollipop at you. Yeah, that's so where I walked fun. in, and you were like, you were like, but Caleb is not, and I'm like, what is he talking about? What could he possibly be talking would... about that I'm so against? He's going to offend people, and I'm not even here to defend myself. No. And if, then, if and then I, I sat down and I started listening, and it was fucking hilarious. I'm glad you found it funny, man. All, all I heard, all I heard was, "What are you talking about? Like, uh, how dare you talk about that? Like, it was a legitimate thing, and I lost it. It was so funny." It was so funny, because you came out of fucking nowhere. Because <laughs> I was going, man, he's taking a while to fill up that water. I need to keep talking about gay teddy bears, because I've got nothing else. Cause it, well, see, I, I figured you would have just shut up and not said anything for a little bit and taken advantage no, of the break. You, but... you, told me, you told me to entertain the people, and God damn it, I entertained the people. Uh, and I, I remember... told you not to derail my podcast, and look what you did. I didn't derail it! I made sure to talk about something that doesn't exist. I, I, I'm very pro-gay teddy bears. Gay, te gay teddy bears do exist. Please don't be offended. And, and uh, someone's going to be offended by it. Well, of course it is. Because how can Welcome my teddy bear America. be gay? Yep. 2017, the year of what can we get offended at? So oh, that's, that's my A again. <laughs> you and this goddamn sorry all week. Um, <laughs> so I just went, fuck it, what can I talk about? And I remembered a joke... Uh, from when I was watching Rooster Teeth, and one of the guys ran over Ray, was Ray, Ray was like, I want to thank my mom for being very supportive and calling my teddy bear gay. And I was like, fuck it, I'm going to talk about gay teddy bears. So I talked about gay teddy bears for a good three or four minutes, I guess. 
I don't know. It's, I don't know if it was that long. I don't even think I was gone it, for more than a minute. It it felt like a long time. I had all the pressure on me. It's different. It's different than when I record an episode because I know it's just me at the beginning. But you're like, I'm gonna go take a break. Grant, you talk, and I went, fuck it. What can I talk about? I have lost you. Have you lost me? Have you what lost was that? me? I was just talking about gay teddy bears. Yeah. The yeah. video connection kind of crapped out, sorry. Yeah, audio connection. Or it's audio fine. connection, whatever. Yep, that's... Uh, are you going to... But do carry on. This? Yeah, do carry on. So, uh, yeah, I was just talking about gay teddy bears and the origin of gay teddy bears. You told me not to derail it, so I was like, well, let's not get into anything heavy, and so I started talking about gay teddy bears. So, you got into the most sensitive topic you possibly could have gotten into. Yep, gay teddy bears. You you were thinking, what possibly could I could I talk about that would not not open up any deeper wounds than that one, the one so that I will totally bring Caleb down, the one that will yeah. tear him to pieces. <laughs> Talked about gay teddy bears, and he will not man. sleep. <laughs> Caleb doesn't he, sleep tonight. He 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 can't play. Um, what was it like Beyond the Sleep? Will you play as that baby? What what horror game is that? Oh yeah, that was Beyond the Sleep. I was think. It? Among the Sleep. Among the Sleep. Among the yeah. yeah Caleb like Caleb can't play Among the Sleep because he's afraid that teddy bear is gonna start sensually licking a lollipop. Oh, that's the teddy bear. Well, it wasn't that specific teddy bear, but you know. It all comes back around. Yeah. I just realized I have a purple teddy bear from when I was like two years. No, it was old. that specific teddy bear. The the from among the. Do you sleep not remember the... that was that specific teddy bear? Wait, wait. From among the sleep was the one that I have from when I was two. Because I've talked about two different teddy bears now. The... Absolutely. I, I have... That that doesn't specify which teddy bear. Yes. Uh, fuck it. So he's talking about the one from Among the Sleep. <laughs> that that tells me I get to dictate which teddy bear it's gonna be. Anyway, was... too much backstory on something that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist, yeah. But speaking of Among the Sleep. Yeah. I had you a little get... YouTube channel for a little while. Yeah, you did. Oh shit, did you play that? I know you played a little bit of Fallout. Did you You did, you did play a little bit of Among the Sleep. I did in fact play Among the Sleep, yes. It was uh, not bad. Um, uh, I can't play horror games because I'm a puss. I have a full like playthrough of it recorded. I just didn't upload the second half. I'm I'm a pussy. I can't play horror games. I tried playing uh, Dead Space. Couldn't oh, do it. Dead it's Space scary. is my shit, dude. I know it's a fantastic game. I absolutely loved the bit of it I did play, but I am a pussy. I can't lead scary stories before I go to sleep. I can't do it. Because <laughs> I, I have an unnaturally high paranoia level. Like, it's, it's um, a problem. You should try Alien Isolation. No, I've seen Alien Isolation. I would die. I would die from Alien Isolation. Dude, it was so wonderful. It was, like, it was scary, but it was such a wonderfully done scary. Yeah, I've, I've, like, I've, I've, the whole I've, first, like, fucking half of the game, you're so scared of something that's not there. Yeah, it doesn't I've, even fuck with you till like halfway through. Yeah, I've seen the game, fantastic fucking game. I can't play it because I'm a bitch. You need a friend to sit and play with you, and if if I go to your your little hole in the ground, then then we'll play those games. The, the undisclosed place of Wash Vegas, Mississippi. The undisclosed location of, <laughs> of Wash Vegas, Vegas, Mississippi. The undisclosed location of exactly this place. I'm gonna tell you. My address is seven. Seven, That's it. seven, Just seven. seven. Nope. Seven. Just seven. <laughs> Just seven. It's, seven, it's seven, seven, seven. Wash Vegas, Levain. <laughs> Le it's Wash Vegas, Miss. Oh, Wash Vegas. No, it's no just I mean, Vegas, I meant. Sorry, I meant. I meant. I meant. Uh, weather vane. It, you live on a weather vane, not Levain. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know. As I said, watch Vegas, Mississippi. You can tell by my by my heavy southern accent, y'all. 
that was bad. That was bad because I didn't decide I was going to do a southern accent until I got to like y'all and then I just fucked it up. That's not new. What, me trying to do a southern accent or me fucking up? I don't know, however you interpret it. Gonna say correct answer, yes. I do, you... I keep bringing this up. I'm not even gonna say the number anymore. You've known me for a while. I fuck up a lot. I fuck up a lot. <laughs> we, are, we are falling off track again. Are we, um, do we need to go back to the gay teddy bears? Yeah. Well, I don't know. We, what were we talking about before that? Because I've totally forgotten. Uh, shit, I don't know. That's the past. <laughs> exactly. So, Fuck it. Move if anybody... On. So, let's, like, let's go into the, I guess, a little bit of a, like, how we know each other. Since I guess that'd be the, the most least interesting topic to talk about. Yeah. Um, should I... Should I start... For anyone interested, me hey. and, uh, Mr. Soloist here we went to high school I, together. High school that I dropped mostly, out of. Mostly. Mostly to, mostly together. I missed um, the first year. Yeah, well, that doesn't count. Yeah. Nobody includes freshman year anyway. It's yeah, basically fresh, junior I, high. I, I did go to freshman year. It, it, Caleb's six days older than me, literally. Um, I, went, I went to... Uh, I was on the I'm, earth first. Yeah, I'm a military kid. Uh, so I went to a different high school than he, a uh, different high school for freshman year than he did. So I uh, I moved to uh, Leesville my sophomore year. This summer between uh, freshman and sophomore year, and uh, we met in guy. marching band because we're both fucking nerds. So, yeah, fucking nerds that enjoy music. Yeah, I, mean, I think I want to get into nerds. a community orchestra. That dude, you've got the talent. Do it. I'm but, I'm considering yeah. I'm considering buying a baritone, like straight do it, up. Do it. And before we get off track, um, again. So Sorry. I moved there and we met through band and um, the first year, I I wouldn't even say it was rough. Caleb and I didn't click until like junior year, which was the second year. So the first year was kind of just trying to get to know each other, and it wasn't until um during yeah, the first season, year was just like a new kid. Yeah. When I was still and trying then, to find my place. Later we, on, it just kind of evolved. Yeah. It, it, we didn't really realize we had a similar sense of humor until I left my phone unlocked uh, when I went to go to the bathroom one day, and he pulled up gay porn on it, and then I unlocked it, and it was the funniest shit in the world. We were we were just laughing, because you, you could have done a multitude of things. You could have gone through my phone, looked in my gallery could have sent texts to people who in relationships you could have gone through my browser history but what you decided to do was pull up gay porn and make it and play a joke and that's that's like uh, the first time we realized we had something in common was when we both found it funny see i was not interested in snooping i was not interested in invading your privacy i was interested in grossing you the fuck out and i knew the one thing that would get you was were very very attractive men in very very compromising positions dude it wasn't even attractive and i knew that i can i can tell you exactly what that image was it is burned in my memory they were attractive men you couldn't even see his upper half you couldn't see his upper half do you remember the image he had a nice dick god dang it he was spreading his asshole and it was the airiest ass i have ever seen that was he the point. Looked, he looked like he changed ethnicities halfway to his asshole. It was so hairy. You know, you can ask Isaac. That's mild. It's your what? You can ask Isaac. That was mild. You could have gotten so much worse. Yeah, I probably could have. I don't even want to know what other people... Could have gotten pictures of my asshole. <laughs> I can't. I don't even know what you're saying. All I heard was my asshole. It's like I said, you could have gotten pictures of my asshole. Oh yeah, I'm good. Didn't you take? Didn't you take someone's phone into the bathroom and pretend to take a picture of your dick? No. <laughs> Who was that? 
I'm that not that been, weird. That might have been that might have been senior year then. Someone someone took another person's phone into the bathroom and pretended to take pictures of their dick. But I can't that had to have been senior year if that wasn't you. I think I think the worst thing you did in the bathroom was you punched a fucking hole in the wall and we had to replace it. We we got a donation to the band hall. I what? You punched a hole in the band hall bathroom, in the boys' bathroom. You punched uh, a hole in the drywall. Yeah. I went in for damage control, and you punched a hole in the drywall. Not my proudest moment. Yeah. Well, I'm. I still but, think if know. I hadn't gone in, you might have done the... worse. <laughs> so, you might have done more damage. My so fondest uh, bathroom memory, and to this okay. day, it makes me break out like a schoolgirl. What happened? What year was this? Was it? Um, was it? But I I was in the bathroom. What year was with this? With a homeboy who who will not be disclosed. We we weren't in there like. This was uh my the first half of senior year the the one that I did. Um, okay. But. The me and this guy we were kind of friends we sort of knew each other. Do I know like him? comfortable enough to I guess kind of like have s small talk in the bathroom? Yeah. Do, do I know him? Yeah, you know him. But I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go in. Yeah, you know him. We're not gonna go into that. Um, you don't know him as well as you know some people I know though. So. But anyway. Um, he's a really funny dude, and we're pissing at the urinals. You know, there's the courtesy space in between. And, uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, <laughs> this guy reaches over the urinal, taps my shoulder. How the fuck do you get piss on top of the urinal? <laughs> Wait, did you piss on top of the urinal or did someone else? No, there was just piss on top of his urinal? Yeah. There was just piss on top of the urinal, and I guess he was, he was, just, the question was burning oh. him up too hard. He had to ask somebody else. Oh my god, and that's hysterical. I couldn't answer. Oh, oh my, that's really <laughs> funny. That's, oh, I really want to know who that is now. You'll, you'll have to tell me after we're done recording. <laughs> nah, it was, it was a funny dude. It was just, it was the funniest shit. I don't know, like, we weren't talking beforehand. We didn't even acknowledge each other. Then all of a sudden, it just reaches over, touches my shoulder. And it wasn't like a, like an uncomfortable, like, hey, 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 dude, dude. Yeah, it was just, just like a very just a casual, just like, just like a, if you notice, you notice. If not, then, you know, we can, we can ignore it. Yeah. But it just, how the fuck do you get piss well, on top sorry, I I of the urinal? <laughs> I'm sorry. I oh I wish I could remember what it was. I think I think there was one time in band uh I think it was junior year, but it might have been sophomore. Year. One time in band camp? <laughs> no, not during band camp. It was during regular oh, school. God. I think we were getting ready for a game or something. Uh, cuz all the That's dirty. Uh, yeah. Everyone everyone uh for a game. Getting ready for a the performance sounds so much better. Oh my god. We were putting our uniforms on because all the girls go to the girls' bathroom to change. All the guys go to the guys' bathroom to change. And the only reason anyone goes into a stall is just to fill up space. And I think someone like tore ass in there. You're going to have to say it that was, over again, little buddy. I missed it. <laughs> it was, it was, it smelled so bad. But people had the funniest reactions. There's, I know a lot of a lot of funny stuff happens in the guy's bathroom. I just have the memory of a North American squirrel and can't. But uh, right, and we're back. All right, Sorry. we're talking through my. <laughs> on we're not. We're I just talking... swung my microphone and it hit my desk. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. don't that's, do that. That's gonna be a pain in butt to, to work out. Yeah, that's, that's why the one I have coming in in a few days has a shock mount to minimize extra noise from we'll that happening. So, but, if it uh, happens yeah. occasionally, it happens. Yeah. Anyways, what but, I was uh, what I was saying with high school, uh, real quick.
Because I don't have a lot. I, I wasn't a fan of high school. It's mostly because I didn't have good experiences high, in high school. But I remember people fondly. I There are some people I just remember really fondly. Some better than yeah. others. Some people I go, man, I hope you turned out for being wrong. But, you know, we were in high school. You do stupid shit in high school. You know, and saying that like it's so long ago. I've We've only been out of it a year. You a year and a half. So. But it's like, honestly, in the sense of growing up and changing and morphing into an adult, it feels like it has been such a long time. Yeah. I am so far removed from that person I was. I just, it, I feel completely different. Yeah, because I, I especially. I, I just, you know. I was I was an angsty teenager. I mean, I was angsty with a capital A. And I just, I hated life. I fought with my family all the time. And then, you know, I, I got out of it. And, you know, I just, I just grew up. You know, and that's, that's, well, that's really what you all, do. all it is. Yeah. Cause, yeah, there's nothing more to it. You just get through it. There's a but song. That's song lyrics, by the way. A really good song. Although at at the same time talking it. talking about songs, you know, high school never ends. That's the way people are gonna be for the rest of your life. So. No, that I I thoroughly believe that high school totally ends. <laughs> um, wait, what? I missed I missed something. But did you just say high school never ends? Yes, and then you said. Yeah. I, High school totally ends. Okay. I miss I we're both multitasking a little bit, so sometimes we might miss what the other says. You know. Internet's also a bitch. Yeah, we we are having connectivity issues, so we may may take off on another break or we may call it soon, who knows? Yeah. Well we've been going I don't know. I I still got a little bit of combo in me. Yeah. But We've been know. going two and a Depends half hours, on... so two twenty-five. Yeah, that's not we bad. Could, yeah, we could we could totally keep talking. You know, that's relatively short for a podcast. Is two and a half hours. And then uh, again, the two one... and a half hours is kind of long, actually. I the one the ones long, I listen medium to medium to like, long. Yeah, the ones I listen to go three to four. So. Well, see, the ones I listen to are like two and a half hours, but they're like the Joe Rogan podcast and stuff like that. Yeah, stuff I listen that's to... really long form. Yeah. I listen to the Super Best Friend cast. That shit goes. So they sit for like yeah. three or four hours and talk. Great, great podcast, by the way. Absolutely, absolutely love it. So. Oh, yeah. Anybody looking for some really interesting conversations, I totally recommend going over and watching Joe Rogan. That dude is, he's, he's brilliant. Love that guy. Joe he's kind of crazy. Joe Rogan, yeah. He's kind of crazy. Yep. But he's, he's a lovable crazy. I love him. Well, I was going to kind of crazy you and i lost our asses talking about uh gay teddy bears yeah and uh well i i want to listen your fault. i i want to listen back to this podcast just for that moment just well, for you that can moment. edit it if you want no you're editing it man if this, is, <laughs> if this is going on your channel you're editing it so yeah that'll if, be fine if this is if this is going to amass under me i'll edit it but this is uh this is amassing under you right now, so uh, this nope, is this will be up right? on my channel. Yeah, well, and 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 even if this was amassing under me, uh, it's still your podcast. You're still the host, so you're still gonna edit yeah. it. <laughs> this is this is my burden to bear. Yep. I don't I mind mean, that. I will I will totally be here with you every week to co-host it. We can bring on whatever guests you like. But if it's gonna speaking go, of guests, yeah. Do we have one? I think I got a get. I think I got a guest lined up already. I was texting him earlier. I'm like, y'all don't know him. Nobody knows him. Do I know him? Oh, geez. yeah, you know him. <laughs> so I guess somebody knows him. Yeah, I was gonna say. But uh, so, but yeah, it, it'll be a shock for you, I'd imagine. I don't think you've had a conversation with this guy like this. Um, but I also through this guest, I may be getting another guest. That'd so be... y'all stay tuned. Plenty yeah. of guests. Got a lot of guests coming in. Caleb, Caleb's and, the official uh, host, if you couldn't tell. I'm the unofficial yeah. co-host. 
I would love to be the official co-host and do this with him every week. It's I'm having a fucking blast, but that's that's details I guess we'll iron out later. Yeah, we'll so. see. If it gets easier to to do a long term, like a long distance thing like this, then yeah, well, yeah, I, by all means, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But well, we gave it's kind of difficult. We gave this a shot. I've checked a couple things. Uh, I think we can go. I th- I think we can do it the way you wanted to do it. I think it's possible. So. Oh well, s- sweet. If we can do it that way, that's hella reliable. Yeah, I've I've checked a couple things. Um, yeah. I will double check. As of right now, I'm going to say we can. Okay. So. I mean, as long as it, it. Just just to clarify for me, and just so we don't sound so elusive, uh, we're talking about phone call, right? Yeah, yeah. We're using Discord yeah. right now. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have a moment so talking, and I was just a dumbass. Oh, well, I mean, you know, the it happens. I, I'd i assume, you know, some kind of charges from the distance we are or some shit like that. No, I, I think don't blame I only get charged for, out of the country. <laughs> I think I only well, get charged cool. out of... I think I was just fucking stupid. Well, so, you know, shit happens. Sometimes you talk yeah. out your ass. Yeah. But the, um, only th- the only thing I'm a little worried is... Um, We'll need to iron out how we can have a guest and do a phone call. Well, I have a speaker phone and I have a conference phone at my house, at my grandma's house, so I can set it okay. up on the desk with yep. my microphone. Yep, that'll work. That will work. So, uh, I don't think we're ending right, the cool podcast things. here, but I, no, I, this, I, this yeah. is certainly not the end. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that bit. Caleb's your official co- your official host. I'm your unofficial. I'm your unofficial official co-host, or your official unofficial co-host. I'm gonna let you call that. You're a guest for right now. So I'm the unofficial official co. Uh, you're the you're the I'm official the official, first guest. I'm the official unofficial co-host. I've given for this episode the, myself the title of co-host. So I'm officially the unofficial. official first guest. That's gonna be the yeah. title, official I'm, first yeah. guest. I'm gonna fight for official co-host. I can't promise anything though. Official first guest featuring gay teddy bears. <laughs> you know, people are going to be like, oh, that sounds hot. Because some people are going to be, that sounds like a porn term or like a, a, a fetishy term. Gay teddy Somebody's going to be all like, oh. Like a bear. Well, like a bear is a, a big hairy gay let man. Me, let, let me finish. It sounds weird to me Squishy. only because I know what I was talking about. <laughs> Oh man, I was dude, I, I was dude, attacked gonna, by a big hairy man. You you're gonna you're gonna have a blast when you go back and edit this and just hear that little tangent. You are going to yeah. have an absolute blast with that. Cause you'll know One you'll thing, know the minute and not just because you said I need to go fill the water jug, you'll know the minute where it starts. Cause I told you yeah. when you were here I'm gonna talk about gay teddy bears and you Totally I missed, missed that. it. You missed it. I gave you fair warning before you left. What I was well, see, do. no, I see. As I said, as or like as soon as I stopped whispering, do not derail my podcast. I I said I took my headphones off and I walked away. I didn't hear anything after that. I said it before. Do not derail my podcast. I think. Oh uh, well, I was too I was too busy talking. I didn't hear you. Probably, but I gave I gave fair warning about the gay teddy bears. So. It is what it is. Kept it on track. I and derailed it. Your decision. <laughs> to, to I, I said, don't that. derail it. That was my decision, and you, you. No, 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 no. You derailed no, it. The, I'm saying the viewers get to decide if I derailed it or not. So. It is what it is. Talk about gay teddy bears <laughs> all we want. But. But yeah, editing this is going to be a nightmare because working through Discord, I. I'm unfortunately stuck with uh, Exceed satellite internet. Yeah, it's uh, nice. they're and I they're have cable. sadly the best option I have. Uh, do you not get and that one company I mentioned? No, because Ooh. I live outside of the city limits. I live out in the oh, woods. Oh, yeah, that's so right. So the only option I get is like satellite internet. So I get HughesNet or Exceed. And uh, the only other providers in town are AT and T and Suddenlink, and I am literally like within feet of the line of AT and T, but they <laughs> oh, won't come painful. out to us. That's painful. Like, 
I can see the road sign from my house to the last road that they go to. That is painful. Yeah, it's pretty irritating. But, you know, I still have internet. I still have a connection. This is still possible. And so, being able to work through a phone call, that would work a lot better. Yeah, especially. Because that'll at least so. keep the audio in sync. There won't be a lot of lag anywhere. We may just yeah. cut out a little bit. Well, and, and we did sync before the... Um, before the conversation so but the problem is the lag changes throughout the video or throughout the audio sometimes it's worse sometimes it's better like right now it's not bad yeah but earlier it was like a good three four seconds yeah well there's a distinct me saying what so i think that'll tell you where the bad lag is because uh, yeah. like when you talked about the I Joe may just end up, podcast i, I may just sadly end up cutting name. those bits out yeah just for strictly for just quality reasons cutting what out uh the like really bad laggy parts oh yeah that wasn't me be well they won't hear that though yeah they, they won't... will no they won't they won't hear the lag they'll hear us respond to it but they won't hear the actual lag because i'm sending you my audacity file yeah but it'll still there'll still be lag from the audacity file because uh, my input come it comes out later than your input. Yeah. You well, know? that's that's why we did the one, two, three, four at the beginning, so the audacity would be synced with the audacity. That's why I had you do uh, that. Right. Was for that ex That's exactly why I had you do that, so we could sync the so you could sync the audacity. You did one, I did two. It's that syncs up the audacity, so the audacity will be in sync. We'll be the only ones okay. who actually hear the lag. I, I I got you, my man. I'm a total genius. Been, <laughs> well, been, we'll see how it works out, yeah, and we'll I've let been, YouTube decide. Yeah, They'll... I've been studying and doing this for many years. So that <laughs> that one, two, three, four was something I picked out from a group project when one of the guys, um, his recording stuff cut out halfway, and he had to resync his audio. So they did the one, two, three, four, and I went, "That's a really good idea." And brought it up here, yeah. so this way our audacity would be synced with each other. Well, that's like when I used to record video and uh, microphone. I'd just clap, and I'd re I'd find the audio spike and just line them up that way. Yeah, that's why. Um, that's a, a pretty common YouTube yeah. trick, though. Yeah, giving a little behind the scenes. Uh, what I do to sync up, because I record audio and video separately. I open up like for Fallout the menu and go one I go down to like save and I go one down to load and go two down to mods and go three and then at one point I go save mods load quick save over and I say that when I'm over the uh, the little menu icon it's so I know yeah. where to sync my audio to the video so hmm. little, little bit of a uh, behind the scenes for anyone who doesn't know if anybody's so. made it this far and have any better uh, techniques, feel free to let us know. Yeah, because if, if you can... Any, if you, yeah, any I input think... would be much appreciated. You know, this is very experimental. This is the first, first anything like this either of us have done, really. Like, podcast format, anyway. And so, whatever, whatever input, you know, y'all want to give, I'm more than happy to hear it, at least. Yeah. You know, I think the one, two, three, four thing where I do, I do uh, one, you, uh, you do one, I do two, you do three, and I do four. Uh, I think I think that works pretty well. But if someone knows a better way, you know, uh, if I do yeah. a different group project with I don't know who the fuck, if, when if and when Caleb brings me back here, if I become the official co-host, you know, anything to make the job you easier. Won't. I'm fighting though. I, I'm fighting knowing it won't actually happen, you know. I, th for those who think I'm pushy, um, because I probably am. I had been talking. He is with very Caleb. pushy. Yeah, I'm always pushy. Uh, Caleb's just had four years to get used to it. The reason I bring this up is before this podcast, I had talked. Or when he first mentioned this idea to him, uh, my response was basically, "Fuck you! I wanted to start a podcast with you. Don't do this." Uh, jokingly, yeah. but I but I did Which really rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Well I said that jokingly. I I had said I had wanted to me. To, Yeah, I had wanted to do this with you for a while. 
Um, well, you should have said something. Because I was I, totally would have I been wanted down for to it. do it when you moved out here. I didn't realize you were thinking about it. Otherwise, I totally would have. Uh, well, if, you can't if just assume move I'd move here. there, but if, yeah. you also it, well, can't yeah, just if, not assume. If and mm-hmm. when, because we had talked about the possibility. So yeah. I, I, keep, I keep saying when, because usually when you feel pretty heavily about something, you end up doing that. So Yeah, for the most part. Eventually, at least. Yeah. So if and when he moved out here, I wanted to do this. I wanted to start this with him. And I'm still trying to convince him to agree to that directly and subliminally so I, I, we'll I'm a little I'm a little pushy because I had I've been I've had this idea for a month and a half basically see one thing we could out. have two different podcasts we can have my podcast which is this one okay um, and we could have a separate podcast that we do for your channel god damn it that's a really good idea why did I not think of that I figured you would have already I don't see well, why you didn't think of that. Uh, I didn't because that I was like, well, shit, Caleb's got his own thing. He's not going to want to co-host a podcast with me weekly and do his podcast. So I have an idea. I have an idea already for another podcast I want to do if you want to. We can talk about it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. So yeah. I'm not your official co-host. I'm just a guest. Hopefully he and I will yeah. start a podcast on my channel where I will be the host and he'll be the official co-host ironing out details so uh, I'm that could be something guest. we we start now or uh the idea i have we can it, it would really need to be an in-person thing yeah, but we well, could start we'll, something now yeah but we'll, anyway we'll, we'll talk we'll yeah, iron we'll, that out we'll, later we'll, we'll iron that out spec spec ifs and buts and something and something and everyone will have a merry christmas i don't know what the fuck the expression yeah. is <laughs> it's like anyway ifs and buts or candies and nuts i don't know uh, candy Regardless with a of y, weird you euphemisms, with an another well, possible said, podcast in the making. That's that's why I said candy with a Y, because if it's candy with an I, then those those two things have very different meanings, because that changes the connotation of nuts heavily. We aren't uh, talking about goobers no more. Yeah, yeah. If if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Google. So it's but, very. Um, but yeah, so that we might we might have another podcast coming to you. I'm hoping. Either now or in the future. Um, but as of I'm right now, you hoping. can count on this one. At yep. least once a week. Yeah. I'll hope to have a lot of people on, often. Yeah. Um, if I don't get one on a week, you guys can uh, you can start sending me spammy messages. Yeah. On my uh, Instagram, oh, ninety-eight oh. underscore photographs. Okay, this sounds like we're ending. Shout out to it. my Is photography. That what's going on? No, we're no, we're not ending it. I'm okay, just. Okay, are we, just, are we kinda... just doing product placement of ourselves? I haven't plugged. I haven't plugged any of my stuff yet. Yeah. You know? I I I made sure to get that shit out of the way at the beginning when people were definitely yeah. still around. Well, if you're still around, obviously you're liking what you're hearing. So if you like this, why don't you go check out my pictures? God damn, that was a good segue. 98 underscore photographs. That was a good segue. It's on Instagram. And if you hate me, you can send me messages there too. I probably won't read them. Probably won't read them. But you can send them. That was a, that was a good segue. Caleb, Caleb, master of segues. It's impressive. So. We'll see. But I've, I've done one. <laughs> I, yeah, I've brought done. to you by our only sponsor, myself. Yeah. <laughs> you, it, It's like your YouTube channel. Do maybe two and then we'll see. Do two and then we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I've done, I have thirty-five videos of Fallout, yeah. and Kingdom and Hearts is still seen. going strong. Which <laughs> I, it, spoilers, because you'll probably. Uh, when is this coming out? Spoilers. Do you, know? do you wait? When is this coming out? Oh shit! I don't know. Tomorrow. Okay, so the, yeah, uh, if, it's, if it's okay, if it's coming out tomorrow, then yes, spoilers. Fallout Four is done. I finished it today. It's a long episode. I actually had to split it in two because of the way the PS4 records. It, not done, done, of course. For uh, on it's on the story of Fallout 4 is done on hold until uh, Game of the Year edition comes out with all the DLC. And basically, that'll be Sweet. we just download the DLC and pick up where we left off. So, yeah, 
That's, well, that uh, sounds pretty cool. 35 episodes so far. Might have some stuff in between because I do have one DLC Ooh. and some other decent missions we haven't I haven't done yet, like the Cabot House. I haven't done yeah, that yet. That, that's a good that one. That, I'm su- I figured that'd be one you would definitely do. It's a pretty good one. I've been I've been trying um, not to stray too far away from story. Yeah, but you can I mean, sometimes you gotta let the the players experience the story. You know? Yeah, let them get a little ahead of you. Yeah, especially if somebody's well, playing along. Yeah, well, the other thing is, I want to leave some stuff for people to go and buy the game themselves if they don't have it. That's true. So but my I thing don't... is like everybody's seen the story already. Show yeah. them some of the cool side quests. Yeah. Well, they've been still. Like, hey, there's me. more to this game. Yeah, they've so been that's just seeing my opinion. me. Well, and, and I might do that in between, um, in between when I'm when I'm on the break in between the story and the DLC. But they've seen me yeah. fail a lot of persuasion checks. Oh my god. <laughs> I've I've charisma charisma ten charisma. is always my first. I have special. max charisma. Then how do you fail a persuasion? I don't. That never happens it, if you have max pers- max It, it absolutely does if you have max charisma because I've got it and I'm fucking it up. I don't think I don't think I've ever failed a charisma check even uh, at like seven. No, well, I, I always I wear max. a lot of stuff that boosts my charisma too. Yeah. Well, we'll. Uh, I I try and talk myself out of situations. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second though. We're gonna take another little impromptu break though. So, and we're breaking yes. a lot, you know. I, dude, I'll tell you why in a second. Are we all? I've played uh, Saint Row Three, so I have uh, I have a distinct idea of what a gimp is. Yeah, well that that definition of gimp. Um, and when you save uh, Auto Tune guy named Zemos. Yeah, he Zemos. was cool. He was cool. Man, the the Saints Row series dude, is by far so one of good. It is wonderful. So good. Except I, for I, driving, god damn it, I hate driving. Yeah, the driving was awful. I'm kind of looking forward to Agents of Mayhem. Just because Gad's but in it? it? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I didn't like Gad. Really? I, was one of those, I love Johnny Gad. Yeah. He was cool. I wasn't a fan. I didn't he like his cool. character. His character um, was a joke. It he was, was a just fine guy. He, cool and funny. Eh, it was alright. Did you ever fuck him? It was... No. I yeah, was a dude. Either. Yeah, well, so... You can have dude fucking. I mean, I know you could. Dude, deep I, I role play. All over I, that. I role play in every video game I play, yeah, and I had deep. no interest in fucking Gat as a as me. Deep. So I was not you, about you that. You know, I I wish I could have fucked the Do Winter sister that lived in Sancho Three, Viola. I wish she made it to Sancho Four so I could have fucked her. Not for just that reason. She was a fantastic character. She Oleg and um. Oh, leg, that dude. He was One other favorite. guy died. Burke, when he, I think when he died. was like all big and naked, that was kind of weird. But... <laughs> that was a great mission. His dick. It was. Great. Fucking Pierce was like, "Can you just put some clothes on?" And he's like, "No." <laughs> that I'm Did like, you... I want another Saints Row game, but I yes. don't want them to botch the series. Yeah, because Saints Row, Saints Row Two, I think, is where it kicked off. No, Saints Row Three is where it kicked off. That's when it got really popular. Well, no, Saints Row 2 was really popular. It was just was kind it, of a little bit maybe, before us. Yeah. Maybe 2, maybe 2 is where it kicked off then. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I know Saints I know Row 3 was really good talk. though. Yeah. Well, Saints Row 3 had all the funny dialogue in it. It gave your character some character. Yeah. Which is one of the things I think a lot of people don't like about Saints Row 1. And it's it's hard to go back and play 1 and 2 if you've played 3. Because you have a yeah. character in three and four, but not entirely in one and two. You're kind of faceless in, in the other ones. Yeah, and Gat's that's where Gat became the face of a, uh, Saints Row, which is why I think they cut him off in three, because they wanted you to be the face of Saints Row. But at the same yeah. time, when you have an adaptable character, you need someone who is staple to be the staple character. You know, so they use Gat. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I was never a huge fan of Gat. He was I, cool. Like in two, he was cool. In three, it was like okay, you're kind of overblown. Which and ending then, did you get in Saints Row Three? Well, which one was your favorite? I don't remember. Like I always, pref- I always preferred to save Shondi and Viola, just because I like saving my friends. Versus yeah. going straight after um, 
I, I think I went after the dude. Yeah, no, I I let him get away. So No, he did evil. He deserved justice. Yeah. A, him versus my friends, you know? So. Yeah. It it is what it is. It, but in it, that game I was playing a superhero though, so I had yeah. to like I had to sacrifice some things for justice. Yeah. That was the character One, I was no, playing. No, I'm a I'm a gang member. I'm a gang member. I will go get the people important to me. Fuck justice. I wore a I mascot wolf me. head. Yeah. But uh, once, I was like straight up a furry. Once <laughs> was you not still? That's that's just <laughs> me making jokes. That's just me making jokes. Um, no, in Saints Row 4, I played a different character. Yeah. But uh, one specific mission in Saints Row 3, when you capture Burke and you have the entire military going after you, and you have to reverse, it was the worst thing in the world. Because you can't reverse yeah. in that game. It only recognizes totally it as can. Drake. No, I, that, I put a hole in my wall because of this mission. Because left Because trigger, you suck at video games. No, no, because you tap left trigger for break, hold for reverse. I held left trigger. I held the shit out of left trigger and it stunned there. The vehicle never Were you also went holding the B button? Nope. Was I supposed to be? I don't know. I cuz I wasn't I figured, only I think that was the handbrake. No. Well, why didn't you just turn around? I couldn't. I couldn't drive turn forward. around. I was, uh, people were in front of me shooting at me, and I had to reverse out of there, and I couldn't reverse, and I kept dying. Well, that's your fault. And dying, and dying, because I couldn't, re be the vehicle wouldn't reverse, and I couldn't get in another vehicle, because I had to be in that specific vehicle, and I hated yeah. that mission. I could not stand it, and I. It may have just been a glitch. You could have, could have just restarted the game. <laughs> I don't Rather than putting a hole in the wall. Nah, because I didn't have to pay for it. I got away with it. Because I, I, I threw my phone into the wall. I threw my phone into the wall, flipped a chair, broke the chair, put a hole in the wall. I'm glad I don't rage like that. Video games don't it, make me that angry. It's, it's the only time it's ever happened. It's the only time it's ever happened was that one time well but you you often talk about how you have a a short temper with video games i get i get verbally angry and i'll i'll throw my controller at something cushiony so it doesn't break but it's the only time i've ever gotten that angry to actually like, these controllers the are expensive i wouldn't dare throw this thing it's, I, I treat I, it like it's made out of gold i throw it at, i throw it at pillows so but I've, I'm afraid I've, I'm gonna mess up the Bluetooth inside, yeah, and it's gonna, I've, it's not gonna work anymore. I've gotten a lot better at it though. I haven't I haven't thrown a lot of controllers. I think the last time I threw a controller was in Mario Kart. Just and, a week ago. Uh, a little bit longer than that. <laughs> a week and a half. <laughs> nah, longer. But that was still, you know, at my bed. It was something cushiony. It wasn't anything. Yeah. It wasn't anything, you know, hard. I'm not throwing it on the floor. I'm going for my... Yeah, you are going to break it. Well, because Joy... The Ooh, nice thing so about Joy-Cons is I can just replace the one. So if I broke that Joy-Con, I can replace that Joy-Con, you know? Yeah. I want to get nice one of those, like, Switch. special edition Europe-only ones. The, uh, the pink and green lime ones. green and pink one. Yeah, the green and the, pink ones. The yes. ones for Splatoon two. We got you know what we got in America. We got fucking neon yellow for arms. Who wants neon yellow? Give me the pink and green. I mean, for I do. No. I want to get all of them. I want all of them. You know they're eighty bucks a piece, right? Yes. This this set of Joy Cons. My, my controller, not the individual Joy Con. So. Well, my controller's 80 bucks, so it's like, I pay that for the controller I use now. Why not a controller I use for another console? Yeah, that's, you know, that's fair enough, my, my guy. Hey, I have a weird question for you. How do you make gaming solo... Not another break. No, 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 no. <laughs> How do you make gaming soloist into 10 letters? Why? Do you think just G soloist? Yeah. 
the G could stand for gaming or grant. You know, it could have double meaning. Yeah, just for my Nintendo Switch, because when I get an Elgato, I need my uh thing to say G soloist, so the gaming soloist. Because to, to for your profile, which is different than your Nintendo account, you can only have um ten letters for your ten characters for your name. Hmm. The other cool thing about the Switch, J Nintendo was not joking when it says it's Region Three. I have a Japanese account on my Switch, and I can download Japanese games from the Play Store. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I can do that with the UK. So in, it's in region free, but they have special UK controllers. What the fuck? Yeah, it is. But so I just go over to like my uh, Japanese account. Japan gets so many more games than we do, and the Japan e yeah, that's where it comes has out. Like twelve. Yeah. Well, Duh. Games we don't get. Period. But the Jap the yeah. um, the American eShop has like oh these three games are coming soon. The Japanese eShop, these thirty two games are coming soon. You know they had yeah. Sonic they had Sonic Mania up an entire month before it came out in Japan. In um here they had Sonic Mania a week before it came out. No Dragon hmm. Ball Xenoverse two is in the Japanese coming soon. Fire Emblem Warriors is in the Japanese coming soon. And it comes out the same day in America. And all it is is just Japan's got it up sooner. Yeah, I'm not surprised. If I were to make video games in the United States, I'd release them here first. No, no, they're being released on the same day. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know. Japan's just telling people about them, and America's keeping it hush-hush. And it's very... Well, America... Like, the business is more competitive in America. It's not as competitive over there. It's, People are going to buy the games. It's Nintendo. It's all through Nintendo, though. Nintendo gets to decide it. Yeah. So. They're competing in the marketing in the United States over here. They just don't. They're, they're yeah, the yeah. top of the market over yeah. there. I'm just. They don't have to compete. You, do you really think they're above Sony? As far as I know. Yeah. I think they're above Sony. I completely feel like Nintendo does better than Sony. Maybe console in, wise. Maybe in gaming, but I think yeah, I think gaming overall, absolutely. I think overall Sony's got them beat. Cause Sony. Well, yeah. If you compare, if you're comparing them. gaming, if you're comparing Sony and their TVs all the way to the the damn air conditioners, you know, if you're comparing that to a company that makes only video games, of course Sony's gonna have more products out. Yeah, but I'm Nintendo talking about video game wise. Nintendo has cornered the market. I would I would disagree Saying that there. shit like I know what that Yeah. Like I know speaking what I mean. speaking of Japanese video games, I'm excited. Persona 3 and Persona 5 dancing games have been announced. Cuz oh, the Persona 4 rhythm, ga rhythm game did really well. They're making Persona 3, which I'm more excited about than Persona 5, but they're making Persona 3 and I'm very very excited for that cuz I like Persona 3 a lot. Yeah, well that's cool. You need I mean, I'm probably not going to play it, but Get, get a PS Vita, man. Play the portable ones. I'd rather not. They're I'd so rather good. Not. Yeah, you, you gotta get a I'll... Switch. You're working on that. Yeah, I'm you? gonna get a Switch. I'm yeah. certainly going to get a Switch. Any idea when? I just... Oh, no, probably not. Because yeah. you were I telling me, you got, the, you got the Switch itch. Which yeah, I, I got it. I had for a while before I got the Switch. And then I had it when all that existed was Zelda. You know, this guy hadn't well, come see, out, Mario Kart hadn't come out, Splatoon yeah. 2 hadn't come out. All I'm going to play on it is Legend of Zelda. I d and until Pokemon comes out. Yeah, that's uh, scheduled. Pokemon, um, the fighting game, will come out. The, the fighting Pokemon, not Pokemon the fighting game. The fighting game Pokemon comes yeah. out next month. But uh, Well, the, then I will play that. Yeah, the mainstream Pokemon game. Is scheduled for like 2018. So that's fine. As long as it comes at some point, I will play, yeah. play the Minecraft. Pokemon fighting game and the other one until then. Play Minecraft Legend with of Zelda. me, my dude. I mean, I might. I play Minecraft on my Xbox though. I don't want to have two different accounts. Eh, Minecraft, Splatoon 2, Borderlands. If and when that ever, <laughs> that's never gonna. Well, it might. Fallout and uh, I know Skyrim will be happening. Skyrim happens in December. I think they're talking yeah. about doing Fallout. 
I've I've seen the Skyrim. Know. I've seen the Skyrim. It looks like it plays well. It's gonna have motion controls though, which can be turned off, of course. But well, that's good. I I would certainly be sad if I was stuck with motion controls. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't like them in a uh, Mario Kart. I've turned them off there. I've turned them off in um, Splatoon too. I just don't like motion controls. Yeah, I I think it's better off uh, just regular controls. They've they've gone this far. Might yeah. as well not mess with them. Yeah, unfortunately. Why Breath, why Breath, mess with a masterpiece? Yeah. Unfortunately, Breath of the Wild do, does have some motion control required stuff. For some of the shrines, you have to use motion control, which sucks because I'm trying to do all of them to get the um. The cap, tunic, and uh, pants of the wild, which are basically yeah. just the uh, green, uh, the green stuff for this game. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so I don't really know anything about it. I'm trying to keep myself as out of it as possible. I want to keep as, as fresh-minded as I can about the game because I'm really excited to play it. I just don't yeah. want to ruin it for myself yeah, hey, you that's know like what you... i did with the long dark yeah you know when you hear shit but it's not actually there I yeah legitimately a hallucination just... yeah i legitimately just thought i heard someone in my house i know there's well. no one in my house but i thought i heard someone in my house well something could have settled creaked see no, I th- my i don't i thought i heard a i never have someone. those moments i thought i heard a person ne- in my house Well, I don't know. All right, we're back from break. Right into the end of this podcast. Yes. Um, so, thank you for listening. I appreciate y'all coming by. Yes. Sitting do through I, uh, this, this rant. Yes. Do I Mr. To, Grant, what you got to say? I was going to say, do I get to plug myself one more time? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. All right, that's the end can, of the podcast. Can, can Good night, y'all. Can I, can All right, I do it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go for it. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, are we done? Can I do it? So, once again, I'm Gaming Soloist. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter, at Gaming Soloist. You can find me on Facebook, for the Facebook page, Gaming Soloist. You can find me on Instagram, at The uh, the Gaming Soloist. And you can find me on YouTube, Gaming Soloist. All of those links will be in the description of this video down below. So, I'll send them Caleb's way. Probably not. If they're not there, blame him. Because I am sending him all these links. So, eh, fuck you. (laughs) It's a joke. (laughs) It's a joke. It's a joke. So, that's uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone, uh, for listening. I will... I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. And that's a wrap. We out of here.